Okay. Hello! We're live in three. <laughs> We're already live. Okay, live in three. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh, everybody. You know I'm Jack. <laughs> I'm okay, Jack. Sorry, These are my friends. Go. All right. No, never mind. Okay. To count, give me a countdown. All right. All right. Okay. Three. Ready? Seven. Ready? Eight. Th three. Seven. Ready in three. Two. Eleven. Three. Rubber duck. Ready? September. Th Alpha. I smell toast. Charlie Chopper. Beta. What? Oh, that was a cue, dude. That was a cue. Come on. I yeah, wasn't sure, on. man. I was giving some time. For... Never mind. Uh, these are my friends, and today we're gonna play some D and D. Uh, we're bringing ourselves back to the world of the Western Trail. Which session Trail. is it? Quick. It's uh, one. Seven. Quick, quick. Sixteen. Seventeen. 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 No. Seventeen. Seventeen. On your thing. Seventeen. Yeah, it is. I even. Yeah, it's on my thing. It's seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I even, I even made the. I to be fair, I did that this morning, not like right before the stream. So, don't worry. Uh, Remember when I said I'll mute Deafen and then I'll be right back. Yeah. I mute Deafen, hit live, and panic like try to un go live because I realized I didn't update the stream details. So <laughs> it was just gonna go live with Dead Space Part Two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Things are uh, different here. I'm gonna go ahead and, and introduce everybody as per normal. Uh, starting from left to right, we have Zaldu playing as Castor. Hello, I am Castor. That's not Wait a accent. second. <laughs> Wait a second. What are you talking I'm about? That's, that's always brand. been. I've always, always been, Castor. been Castor. It is how I do the talk. It's uh, ignoring the obvious the Russian <laughs> spy. <laughs> it's uh, no, no. I am real American. <laughs> Just I, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You might you guys might be on something. He was never American. <laughs> he was in a land far away that he swore no one has ever heard of. Asia, yeah. Anyway, uh <laughs> moving on, we have Chef playing as Clayton Dre's. Hello, I remembered my fucking accent. <laughs> you have not been replaced by a Soviet spy, it's okay. Now I'm American as they come, and you can yep. tell that because my character shoots people. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, we have Gerald playing as Lucius. Well, howdy, everybody. It's good to be here. No, that's him. You're right. a good old boy. Lucius is now reporting for just duty, sir. The face paint's just, like, coming off, and the, like, uh, the horns are just, like, sliding because the putty wasn't enough. Anyway. <laughs> uh, spooky. I was playing a Simon Nikivorov. Somebody stole my accent. <laughs> yep. Did uh, you look under there? <laughs> All right. Who wants to go ahead and recap? You remembered leaving your accent. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to recap what happened both last ooh, week and the week ooh, before, uh, the game ooh. before? You can handle last week. I'll handle the game before. I'm fine with okay. taking taking turns on this. He seems so excited. I, I, don't want to take I it thought first. we did recap last week. Did we, we did. not? We or did, did or do we just we need did. to recap? Recap. We're just yeah, recapping. Recap. Gap. Okay, because I can't recap. Recap the last one because I was asleep. <clears throat> no, it's okay. If you want to get last week and then Chef can get the week before, absolutely. Correct. Do we want to recap? Recap first, or do we just recap? The, the, the Halloween session and then the one before that. Okay. So, yeah. Last week, I can do it this time, I swear. Mm -hmm. Last week, huh? we were in cave. Right? But then door up here. We see door. Door had runes. We could have uh, runes. I don't know. We go indoor. Indoor, big room. Table. Big On room. table. Drinks. We, dum dum. We drink, not same time. We drink, we die. We go land, end up dead. And then we see Bony Guy. I don't remember name. He has Scully. Scully. <laughs> Scully. <laughs> I like how you remember that. his back. Like the full, the birth name, not the nickname. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Skull the fifth. We get shown to Christopher. Christopher. Bad guy? Oh, who know? Christian. David. Chris? Uh. We get sent on task. Task, go beat up quote unquote heroes. 
heroes or champions of League of Legends, but not League of Legends. We League of kick their fucking ass so fucking hard. Yeah, they're dead. Now. We win. Doomed one to the shadow fell. It's Christopher is death. Okay, I guess he give Lucius whistle button. I summon guy when I want. If fun. Then uh, we okay, realive. Now we back in cave. Door go bye bye. Yeah, you're alive again. All right, what happened the week oh, before that? Because that's a little more pertinent to today's session. What's more pertinent to today's session was uh, in the week before that, we uh, finally oh, were oh, able oh, to... Oh, oh, and... Da -da 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 -da. Correct. But um, in... In, <laughs> in the, uh, in the week it. before this, we uh, <laughs> approached a, a crystal cavern, like mine shaft that we believe to be housing an eldritch abomination that is parading itself as though it is a crystal god. Also uh, known as the mother-in-law. <laughs> no, that's not true. Um, and we headed down into the mine shaft until we discovered a weirdly um, like unnatural cave. And then as we continued to move through this cave, uh, we discovered some mushroom people and a very intense uh, large maze patrolled by crystal minotaurs. In order to, um, uh, in order to more, more better move through the maze, we gained the fungal people's trust because they were rad as hell, and we made our way into the the maze that is full of puzzles and traps, and we have just barely gotten past about two rooms of it, and the camera panned out and showed that we have a lot more maze to go. And then we went to take a short rest, and that's when the Halloween stuff happened. Yee. Here go. Here's a jack dollar for you. Sweet. Awesome. So, let me go ahead and change the music up here a little bit. Uh, so, you guys had just kind of got your bearings uh, from this quote-unquote short rest that you got. Not entirely sure how much time has passed, or even if you even left in the first place. Uh, you guys find yourself uh, at the end of a hallway in this great crystal maze. Uh, there's back the way you came and forward onwards. Uh, the hallways are lit with a nice blue glow from blue flame and sconces all around. There's a, there's a blue Let's theme in this back. place. <laughs> Uh, I've seen enough. We're actually not gonna do that. Let's let's continue moving forward. All right. Let me go ahead and look at some notes here. All right. Uh, give me a. Someone give me a D6 roll. I uh, got it. Shit. He's faster than me. Six. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Moving through. Uh, you hear what sounds to be sounds of battle. Uh, seemingly uh, from the clank of metal and crystal, an odd screech caused by it uh, further down the hallway. Uh, as you approach further, you see what appears to be a still living Minotaur fighting against one of the crystal variants. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to fire upon the crystal variants. Oh, just be like, okay. Combat right off the bat. Let's yeah. Go. Be like, Weapon's hot. Uh, we got a we got a straggler here. Oh right, no. Oh two dear. Two seconds here, then just uh. <laughs> Boy, you we just we pop off. You pop off. You just shot. What do you mean? He said roll a d6. No, you pop off. Yeah, I just wasn't you expecting a six to be rolled right off the bat. Anyway. Uh. Wait. So what did the six mean? It means that this is the encounter that we got. So that's that's not how many friends I have. <laughs> it's both. I don't think you have one. <laughs> You're right. Ooh. <laughs> but I can't roll I know a I, zero. I know I shot uh. first and all, but five initiative, I guess. 
I imagine I just said weapons hot, let's go, and then I reached for my gun, and that's and why everybody Aaron else is going to go. Away. So, <laughs> I wasn't sure if we were going to do this one today, so I didn't actually prepare a token for the regular. Uh, <laughs> you mean so, you weren't sure there's literally a one in six chance? It, yeah, so it, I wasn't it, sure, was man. Like a, I was also doing so. That's kind oh, of the that... scene right now. <laughs> oh my god, he posing Minotaur. God, he's a look at the dominance he's asserting over that man. Oh, dude, it's fucking incredible. Yeah, it's great. Oh. It's great. Oh, man. Uh, so uh, oh, there were initiative rolls. Oh yeah, I need yes. Maltov out here. Uh, we already rolled them on the other map though because we're dumb. Okay, uh, Molotov was a 20. 21. No, yeah, well, a nat 20. 20. Oh shit, uh, I, I see your uh, names from the other maps, so I just need to transfer you over, I guess. <laughs> Do you think it'd be a not so bright idea to have some Flaming Hot Cheetos right now? Uh, you uh, can considering you you're fries. throwing up, that's a terrible idea. It's also, yeah, that's a, it's a terrible idea. I mean, I have hot fries sure. I was going to eat, so... Yeah, but you're not throwing up. No, but my tummy is weird. But <laughs> the crinkle bag, it calls me... I think you me. got this, buddy. I, I think you if I it. just say no you to my stomach... You'll just eat it. With the flaming hot Cheeto. Yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> you may have the reverse card. Your right, I think I have everybody's four. names on here now. Why oh no! Draw four. <laughs> <laughs> Just sending my mouth bro. to draw four. You always okay. challenge the draw fours. No, always. no, I watched that. Every You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I won a majority of those games. <laughs> my strategies are complex. Okay, Jack. Jack, no offense. One of the few videos I've watched all the way through. That one was pretty good. So, dude, it just sucks so fucking much. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I've watched a lot of your videos, uh, Jack, and I haven't seen that one yet. It's new. Uh, it's new. I would suggest okay. that. Yeah. 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 It was released last right. couple weeks. Anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over the music here. I'm just gonna give two little rolls out here real fast. I believe it's a Hold up, let me uh, while we're waiting in the window because it's hot as fuck here. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that real fast. All right. Let's go ahead and switch up the music. It's like 15, which is like 65 or something. All right. There's no Who way wants... that it's that you're upset that it's 65 degrees Dry. Fahrenheit. Yeah. I Castor. I think your Celsius is a little off there, my guy. It's 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Castor. That's the T posing <laughs> Minotaur in front of you cooler. is currently holding off uh, this Crystal Minotaur as, as much as they can, but they're having some trouble here. Uh, what do you, would you like um, to do? Do either of them seem more damaged slash injured? It would be the uh, the still living Minotaur. But we it seems more be... damaged. He seems we more damaged. Yeah. The still living Minotaur. I mean, no. <laughs> yes. However, <laughs> I'll start with the one that's less likely to die quickly. All right. Um. Oh, oh is this is this map to scale? Are we yeah, pretty to much. Scale? You're you are essentially in a a decrepit room that's still lit. Okay. Um, I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit. I'm gonna stay where I am. I'm going to use my bonus action to improve my bow, and I'm going to shoot at the crystal dude. All right, give me that attack roll. I'm gonna give you that attack roll with a plus nine. Oh wow! We wow! <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Seventeen. Nice. So did it hit? Yeah, I know it hit. It hit. Give me damage. Seven, six damage. Yeah, and then you, you, your bow, your bonus action does more damage, right? Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. That's right. Roll one, two, four. One six. extra baby. Uh, I just want to say um, because it, it fell on that, its health is at sixty nine now. Anyway. Pog champ. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to attack. We can't. We can't kill the crystal anymore, guys. 
We can't damage him. <laughs> you can't damage it. Uh, He's immune. Legally speaking, we have to let him leave. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I will shoot my bow again. Oh, that's right. Oh. You have two attacks. He's I got forgot two about attacks. that. The yeah. minotaur just goes nice and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, give that. Give me that attack again. Twenty-three. That hits. I can't believe it. Oh, I can. Yeah, you can give me another plus four. Plus D4. Have I ever mentioned that I really like the idea of a monster oh, okay, whose AC works. is a window? Like, yeah. it, like if it's between like 17 and 21, and if you get too Four. high, it'll miss. There so roll, I'm gonna steal two. that idea Every in the future. Anyway, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so you're both your attacks. You wing out two arrows, chunk, uh, chunking off pieces of crystal uh, as it was mid attack. Preventing another attack from landing on the real Minotaur. Uh, it is oh, now Maltov's turn. Maltov's gonna dip. Alright, Maltov dips. Put your hand up on my hip. Straight up, it flies away. Yeah. And now it's Simon's I turn. I cannot kill Maltov. Yeah. Not down here. Sick feet, dude. Don't. Um. <laughs> TOS. <laughs> I'm gonna... No, as long as they don't show feet, that's fine. I've talked about porn on stream before and nothing has happened. I just I haven't posted it. And nothing happened? You should you should go see a doctor, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, is Raven Feebleman a cone? No, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you only have to hit one. Yeah. I think I want to cast Ray, Ray of Enfeeblement on the Crystal Minotaur. Alright, sick. <gasps> I what does that do? Uh, I don't know, something. It's a con oh. save. It's gonna be a con save. Uh, sorry, yeah, it's a ranged attack. And uh, if I hit, then it's half damage with any strength attacks. Oh, it's just if you hit him? Yeah. Alright, give me that attack roll then. I love to, but I don't have it actually set, so I have to do this manually. It's your, right. just your spell attack. It's your your uh, proficiency and your intelligence. Yeah, I know. It's, just a, it's a plus eight. Okay, look, I'm not a smart man. <laughs> you are. You have a natural twenty. It's an eighteen. An eighteen will hit. Uh, Sick. Then it does half damage with any strength attacks. Okay, <laughs> I'll go ahead and mark that down. So no damage. All right. Uh, no. Let me double check, but I'm pretty sure no. No, Ray of Sickness and Ray of Feeble are different. Okay. Uh, then anything else you're doing this turn? Hello. Anything else you got this turn, dude? At the at the end of each of the target's turn, it can make a Constitution saving throw against the spell, uh, and it needs to succeed to 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 break to, out of it. Okay. Uh, um, I, don't, I don't think I have anything else I can do, so that's me. Okay. Then, uh, the, uh, T-posing Minotaur is gonna, <laughs> like, look over to you in surprise, and then just kind of take its axe and start to swing down on its, uh, as its, its assaulter. It's really hard, though, because it has to remain T-posing, so it just kind of <laughs> has to wildly twist its body. That are, that is. It has one too many sweaters on, so it really can't lower its arms at all. <laughs> uh, it's, it's cold. Do in this Twenty-four cave. points of damage. No, the six-nine. But uh, we can't hurt it now, so it's fine. Right. Uh, so it yeah. slams down its uh, giant axe down at one of its arms and cutting it off completely. Uh, just, it just slumps to the ground and breaks up and starts turning into smaller little insects versions of crystal. Uh, Lucius. Oh, I remember that. All right. So let me just double check something. Is this? Yeah, I guess so. Right. Oh, I forgot to turn off the bloops. No, I I dude. Know. I forgot. I'm sorry. I've been forgetting to do that in streams too, and it's uh, I've been watching back vods, and there's just points where I I could use footage, and then my phone goes off. Oh um, um, yeah. So uh, an oldie but goodie, and this is, this is gonna actually. You know what? What if I do this one instead? I think I'll do that one instead. 
Oh, we're breaching the singularity. Shadow. Oh, he's throwing Shatter. up. <laughs> nice. Are you going to try oh, to shit. angle it to not hit the opposing Minotaur? Uh, I think he has disadvantage because he's a construct. Correct. All right, that's a con save. All right. Such as crystal. Uh, is it? Uh, that's going to be a 15. That me. Oh, shit. So half damage. Half damage. All right. That's... That's 22, so half damage would be 11 points of thunder damage. All right. Wait, it's 22 thunder damage? It's already at it yes, 15 seven, thunder. 7 plus 15. You it's, always it's, upcast. Oh, you I always miss the higher level cast. I always do, yeah. All right, so you shatter it, and a resounding pfft, uh, start, uh, a creak of That was the least cracks. resounding sound effect you've made in a while. It's, <laughs> <laughs> a resounding poof. A resounding crack makes its way up into the body of the crystal, uh, the crystal minotaur. Uh, ah, yes. I see that crystal's giant crack. Yeah, yeah there it is. It's a cracked, cracked <laughs> minotaur. Anything else you're doing? Um, you know, I haven't done this in a, in a while. Where do I not have a button for? Do I, 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 oh yeah, I do. No, I guess I don't have a button. It's not a button. Bark inspiration. Clayton, oh, shit. you're gonna be the next character up. I am. Have a, have a, a Lucius dollar. <laughs> Thank you. That's copyright infringement. I'm gonna. My lawyers are gonna talk to your people. Uh, I'm gonna uh, it, so my lawyers will talk to you. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't make him exempt. Anyway, <laughs> it's a dick thing to do, but it doesn't make him exempt. Uh, all right. So Clayton, you have Bardic Inspiration. It's the Crystal yeah. Minotaur's turn, and you instantly <clears throat> see his arms start to reform uh, where it had broken before. Uh, and it's gonna go ahead and take its great axe and go ahead and try to get a good swing in on the other Minotaur. With half damage. Half damage, that's true. Boy, feeling weak. Like his arms are heavy. Uh, <laughs> bomb, sweater, right? He was four. wearing a sweater. And right now, I'm not wearing a sweater. He's, 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 all ready. Ready. Uh, he still he's seems cool. pretty enfeebled because the axe just kind of falls down to the wayside as the uh, real Minotaur is able to get out of the way. Uh, Clayton. Well, you know what they say Eldritch Blast. Yeah, I'm going to I, I, I think you say that, yeah. Yep. I don't know here. about they. Uh, I'm going to move a little closer, probably, like here-ish. Here-ish. Yeah, here-ish. And <laughs> just two Eldritch Blasts. Pop and pop. pop. First right. one. 16. That hits. Alright, second one. 24. That also 44. hits. Holy Rad. shit. Rad. Uh, yeah, I'm good at this. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, that's 11. And that's 7. So 18 points of force damage. Awesome. Uh, pow, pow. Pew, pew. Uh, you break through some more crystal, causing cracks and chunks to fly off. It's not looking great at the current moment. Right. And then I turn to the Minotaur, and I'm just like, Listen, we're here to help and provide support and care. Please don't be upset that we're in your maze. It's It's kind of an important thing. He just kind of looks at you wide-eyed and huffs uh, as he prepares his next attack. I'll take it. Castor. Um, I'm going to shoot him. Okay. Coming now right that's up. copyright infringement. 23. <laughs> uh, 23 <laughs> does hit. Hit you with that extra two damage. All right. And then another one. 16. How do you kill it? Um, With his bow. <laughs> obviously. So, you know, like, arrows normally wouldn't shoot through crystals. But somehow this arrow just catches 
the perfect right angle to pierce through the core of the crystal being. It goes straight through the like the, the crystal construct, and after the arrow has already passed through it, it just shatters from the uh, from that central point. Sick! You shattered its crystal spine. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Man, it's never gonna crystal walk again. Uh, it shatters and falls to the ground, uh, breaking off into smaller pieces, and those smaller pieces get up and walk away. Hopefully, it's well, crystal insurance covers the crystal wheelchair. Uh, and we're gonna go bring ourselves out of combat. As uh, hey, wait a second, I'm gonna. <laughs> I need to attack the Minotaur now. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> The Minotaur looks at you suspiciously after all this, but he doesn't appear to be attacking you outright. He, he's more hunched over his axe, kind of gaining his breath. He looks like he was in a way off uh, spot before all this happens. Uh, well, before you got there. Yet. <laughs> this is a good this is a good time for uh, us to introduce ourselves. Hi, my name is Clayton. The, this is Lucius, Castor, Simon. We are the Four Horsemen. We are here... Uh, with the intention to once and for all deal with the crystal god and uh, just like wipe him off of uh, map and history if, if that's at all possible. And I'd uh, like to do a thing. Okay. What's your thing? You have an inspiration too. Oh, are you I healing him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. sick. Uh, yeah, you... Uh, I don't, you I mean, I'm some... sure he took some damage prior to uh, showing up. Or oh, yeah, absolutely. No. He, uh... He starts getting healed up by these regenerative energies from your song, whatever that may be. Uh, and he looks even more dumbstruck uh, at the help of intruders. Uh, however, after talking to him, uh, he just kind of looks at you confused and utters something in a guttural language you don't understand. Does anybody here speak Abyssal? Nope. I took Infernal, Ooh. unfortunately. So it, it's it's basically like I guess somebody's trying to speak Russian to you when you've never heard it. Wait a before. second, doesn't doesn't uh, does Molotov, Molotov speak in Infernal? Molotov infernal, speaks Infernal. Yeah. Not Abyssal. Not Abyssal. Uh, uh, does anybody have comprehend languages or tongues? Oh, I do. You have comprehend languages? I think so. I have a tongue. Uh, comprehend languages like does not let you speak it? their language though. Yeah, it's in just let you understand them. Well, we could let him write it. Uh, I'm going to also speak Infernal to him and see if he understands that. But I'm just like, uh, apologies it's... once again in another repeated turn, and I wait for to see if he if that means anything to him. His uh, head just kind of turns a bit, and he repeats the same thing in Abyssal, whatever it may be. Can I cast Comprehend Languages? <sighs> yeah, you can I cast mean, Comprehend right. Languages. I'm gonna do and that. Comprehend Languages would let you understand him. It would not let him understand you. No but, we, no, but we can pantomime after that. Uh, yeah, as long as we do what he asks, I will understand it. So I know what I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to produce one of the, the crystals that I have. I'm going right. to point at it. And I'm going to point down, like, the way. And, uh, like, start, like, pretending like I'm punching the crystal. And then refer to all of us. And then point back down that way. <laughs> He looks over the where you pointed. He looks at the crystal in his hand, in your hand. And he just again says something you don't understand. Simon, <laughs> what does he say? <laughs> oh, did you you cast comprehend languages? Uh, he's essentially along the lines of what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Simon, what what did you say? Jazz? He has no idea what we're talking about. All I'm gonna right. grab the crystal, and I'm gonna like hold it in front of his face and just be like, "This, this, this." this. He yeah, like, lifts up his hacks head. and like holds it over his head. He's not striking down at all, but he's very much looking surprised that you're just in his uh, face now. He's gonna, he's gonna flash a thumbs up and be like, "Okay," and like kind of hold his hand out to be like, "Wait, wait," and he's going to point at himself, and then at the rest of us, and do the same motion. And then point down the hallway. Wait, I've got something actually. Okay. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast minor illusion. Okay. <laughs> in, a, in a five foot cube, I'm going to uh, show a very like small 
like little like diorama basically of uh, a very large crystal being attacked by all of us and it breaking and shattering into nothing. So like what just happens? It's it's minor illusion. I just create a small little illusion. No, 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 no. So like what just happens? What just transpired over the last five minutes? Oh no! It's a it's no, no, no. A bigger, uh, crystal, a bigger crystal, crystal, like a like a uh, like oh, a crystal okay. god, like what like what <laughs> okay. Clayton's imagining what? the crystal god, which is just a really big rock with a little crown on it. Because <laughs> he's like he's trying. Yeah, he like he hunches down over because he's a large creature. He hunches Ooh. down over to look at it, kind of pokes the illusion with his finger, uh, no, don't and do he that. says he says another guttural thing in like a confused. Um, a uh, confused tone, but uh, Simon's able to hear it, and he's just like, "What does this show? What what is this?" I think you overestimate the intelligence modifier of a minotaur. Now Let's hold on, kill him. The pretty, the pretty goddamn intelligent. If he doesn't understand what's going on, all right, I'm going to scrap it. I'm going to put minor illusion of us getting lost in a maze. <laughs> and then I'm gonna point at it and shake my head like, no, we don't want that. Like hands crossed, X. Like no, we we don't want to get lost. And then I'm gonna scrap it and I'm gonna minor illusion oh. us walking and the minotaur leading us to a big crystal and being like, thumbs up, yes, that one. You, you're <laughs> lost. Is this what he says? I uh, no. I He's asking us if we're lost. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. We are lost. We don't know where we're going. So you're like shaking your head up and down. <laughs> yeah. Just like yes, yes, nodding yes. furiously. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I, Shame. I, I, you watch Simon get visibly more upset. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need him to lead us. I'm sure he knows where I, he's okay. going. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do the the hand motion like the hand above my eyes you know i'm gonna scope out the room my head's going left and right i'm gonna on my hands i'm gonna do the two little fingers like we're walking somewhere i'm gonna point to him point to us point to him point to us point to the fucking the little illusion of the little crystal guy be like wh where can we go to Get crystal guy <laughs> it's like a tourist at, at another country that doesn't speak english you're just like where is the exhibit does the message, message work if they don't speak your language i don't know but it's a telepathic thing speak message actually message, is just, the line. message yeah. is just more along the line message is just more along the line like they can hear it in their ear yeah but you have a tele telepathy helmet that might actually work but uh, how much is that yeah well you, you could use the, the telepathy helmet will let you read his mind yeah, but then you can send a thought as a bonus action. Can you? All right. Awesome. Yeah, to send a telepathic message to a creature you are focused on. It can reply <laughs> using a bonus action. Do you put the helmet on then? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I motion him to sit down, and I'm like, okay, look. He uh, uh, he looks tired, so he, he does. It's like a... <laughs> as like the room kind of shakes a little you bit. Cast, you have to cast detect thoughts on him using the helmet. You cast How bad does he him. look hurt? Uh, he's looking a little bit better now. He, you could probably guess he's about half health. Can I give him a health potion? Uh, he has to make an intelligence check against a DC thirteen. <laughs> he fails. All right. So we <laughs> I want to give him a health potion though too. All right. Uh, you hand him a health potion. He takes it in his hands and like looks at it, and then he just eats the entire thing whole. Uh, 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 okay. uh, listen, I'm sure <laughs> he does look healthier now, though. Now, now that your detect thoughts is through, you can telepathically send a message to him and then read his mind for it. Yeah, for his he answer. is. He is fully like legs crossed, back straight, staring into his eyes as mm -hmm. he is like, "We need your help to get out of here." Huh, who's there? Uh, he gets up instantly, uh, hold brandishing the axe. No, no, gonna, that's him. I'm that's gonna, him. I'm that's gonna, him. He's talking to you. I'm gonna look at him in the eyes and like, with two fingers point at my eyes and be like, "Look at me, look, uh, me, me right now. <laughs> this is me." Oh, he like looks at you for a long while. Then he, oh, and he sits back down. And he's like, "Okay, thank, okay, thank you." Uh, uh, he doesn't have a good charisma modifier, so he's not good with people. No, <laughs> um, this but isn't he's a people. It's a like, if you can, if you can just say, as payment to save your life, 
can you take us to the Crystal God so we can kill him? As payment for saving our lives, can you take us to the Crystal God? He res- so we- he does not respond to lep- telepathically. He just says, I cannot. I am bound by contract to not lead people through this maze, but to keep them out. Well, okay, you're doing okay, a fan but- fucking fantastic job. Okay, I want to get to your manager. Hear me out. Okay, reverse psychology. Tell him which path we're not supposed to take. <laughs> hey! Uh, uh, he, he does repeat after that. He says after that, um, the only reason I have not killed you is that you have saved my life. And also that we would kick your ass. He, will, he, he does not. Like, it's a good thing to speak your language. <laughs> yeah. He will immediately be like, and we are very thankful. Like, uh, that, is, that is something we are thankful for. But you have to understand we'll kill you two like we, we need to <laughs> we need to move forward here we will he brandishes you. his axe you can try hey 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 bro. Right, pal, 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 pal. hey let's <laughs> let's be calm about this he tell back, him yeah. that we are here to destroy the crystal god we're not here to use it we're here to wipe it off the fucking map we are here to free you and getting to the crystal god is step one in you living the life you wish uh, he says back, well, that's great. However, I cannot break the contract. Why not? Could, okay, I have a question. Could he write on the map? Can he at least just give us a map of the maze? Um, Is, he... That's technically not leading us anywhere. I don't know. It depends. What, do you, what does Simon say to him? Because he can't I'm understand anybody to... else. I'm going to tear a sheet out of my notebook and like just lay it on the ground with, with I think I have an ink thing. Yeah. Um, oh, do you? And then just be like, I, I would like for you to draw us a map as that is not breaking the grounds of your contract, mm. but still a repayment for if, for saving you. If we can uh, easily navigate, if we can easily navigate the maze, we can leave, and you will have helped uh, prevent an invasion. He will not he, say that part. <laughs> he he goes hmm in like a guttural tone, and he's just that is not possible. But not, not because the, the con. Well, mm. nobody can remember the maze. The maze changes. No, we're going maze on the rule. Well, then you know what that means. Kill him. No, it means yes. that it doesn't matter what direction we go. Yeah, it'll we'll be bet. fine. Well, so if you kill him. This has been fun. No, just leave him. He doesn't. I, he's not he's hurt. He's going anyone. to heal up and then attack I us. He literally not going to attack us. He literally like he's not killing us because we saved his life. He's fine. I want it's to now. grab his hand and shake it firmly, and then hand him the rest of my alcohol bottle. He takes <laughs> and it and eats like, the entire thing. All right, yeah, now he's drunk as shit. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> now we can kill him. Uh, uh, do you guys continue yeah. off? Uh, there's there's a couple different paths, but based on what you were told, it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, I feel like we're we're all right. Let's let's just get let's just get a move on. Uh, as you get up and move, he does get up and he follows you. Well, see, that's kind of the thing where like he's just waiting until like he feels like his debt has been paid. Uh, I feel like more of uh, he's like as you like move forward. Yeah, as you move forward, he follows along. If you stop and like look at him, he just kind of stops and looks at you, and then you just keep walking forward, and he keeps walking behind you. He's just following you now. I, I just have a distant buddy. All right. He well, can't declare either, himself either a friend, that but... or we're gonna get close, and he's gonna be like, mm, "Nope." All right, now's my time to kill them. Well, hey, <laughs> that means we'll have an answer on whether or not we're getting close. <laughs> Just knock him out and drag him with a rope. <laughs> yeah. He can't lead you, but he can follow you. I mean, come on. Yeah. Man. All right, let's go. Uh, uh, I'm going to move down to the paths. All right. Uh, oh, I have let's... devil sight now, so I don't need fucking torches. Or... Uh, I do, though, somebody, so roll me a, <laughs> somebody roll me a D6. Uh, Reroll oh, okay. a 6. Oh, okay. Ooh, too slow, too slow, too slow. Uh, all right, four already. God Damn it. It's alright. Yeah, that, yeah, that copy and paste it. You can't uh, keep getting away with it. <laughs> yeah, the four is better for this, trust me. Um You walk through yet another room. This one seems a lot uh a lot simpler from the rooms you've been going through, other than the last one you were just at, which was basically just like a, a grand hall or something. 
Uh, this one has two doors, one in to the room and then one out, which appears to be closed. Uh, on the four walls of the room, there is a button inset into the wall. It looks like it can be pressed in. Right. Push the button. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Down the door. I use mage hand buttons. to push the button from a distance. All right. Uh, you press the button from a distance and nothing happens. Well... It's broken. Or it's someone needs to be in ahead. there to push the button, right? How about we get I, the I minutes for to go in and push the button? Can I send Molotov? I was gonna send. Scully. Does Molotov have the? It's it's a large button. It's about the diameter of. Uh, yeah, about... but if if Scully dies, then we've kind of lost him for the night. <laughs> <laughs> you could summon Scully for this, yeah. Uh, you like press the button. Uh, it, it, it's about like a, a diameter bigger than your hands, flat against it. It's a fairly big button. It might take a little bit more strength than an owl can produce. I don't couldn't know. We, I got pretty big hands. Summon Hector or Lone Rider <laughs> to could. go push the button. Uh, I can only uh, summon Hector if I have uh, killed somebody recently. Well, <laughs> thankfully for you, there's happened to be someone killable very close by. Right, but like the Minotaur doesn't understand any of this. Okay. looks confused. It has to be a humanoid, and a Minotaur is not a humanoid. It literally, I have to kill a person. Can, you know, can like we a... point to the Minotaur? Point to button. Yeah, I don't know if he can press a button, but <laughs> uh, the Minotaur struggles to get through the doorway, but he's able to uh, eventually. He goes over to the button inside the room and presses it. Uh, nothing seems to happen. The room broke. Room broke. Can we can we try mm. just to open? It? Door on the other side. We haven't yeah. tried can that you, yet. If you I, go I to the door, to door, yeah, I'm uh, gonna, I'm could... gonna do a perception check. See if I can get anything. All else right, right, yeah, here. go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I have advantage on this because based on sight. Or Twenty-one. Taste. Uh, looking around, <laughs> looking around, uh, you're able to make out the faint arcane sigils, uh, which appear to be pumping magical energy into the room. What it does exactly, you don't know without an arcana check. All right, time for an arcana check. Here we go. I'm also good at these. Or like not, a detect a magic change. spell, something along those lines. 19. Um, you, it's hard to tell exactly what the magic does, but it appears to be cycling all throughout the room. Uh, the door on the other side, you have noticed, uh, well, it doesn't look like it has a lock. It's more like a stone door that seems to, like, split open and uh, have both halves go to either side, like an elevator door. Uh, if you do point uh, the Minotaur to go open it, he will try, and he won't be able to open it. Can I help him to open it? Sure. You can both yeah, try, a... and with no, uh, not, no roll, we'll open it. All right. Sealed magically. Yeah. You you can assume as much. Hmm. Because of my big brain. So my, Honestly, my 19... Simon, yeah, Simon with his natural investigation could probably tell that the reason why nothing happened when the Minotaur pressed the button might be because he's it's part of his contract. Maybe the defenders of this place can't actually do any of the puzzles. I'm going to punch the <laughs> yeah, button. Yeah, okay. I was like, someone's got to push the button. Uh, who's help? in the room? Hath no I'm fear, Lucius will do it. Yeah. Uh, I'm about so, like... The mage hand is 30 feet away, and that was my original intention, so I'm probably a little bit outside this room, just like staring. Okay, right. Uh, so I'm it's just Simon and the Minotaur. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Enjoy. Unless Lucius wanted to be in the room? I was going to say, I'm just going to take the cane and just kind of walk in casually, like, hey. All right, Lucius is also in the room. Uh, then Castor and Clay- I don't know how to- I guess you guys can listen in, that's fine. Uh, you press a button and the door into the room closes immediately. Mm. Well, Classic. Well, I nothing... say we leave them here. Uh, listen, I don't like pushing buttons with my own hands. It always feels weird. It always feels like- uh, last time I did that, I got uh, shot. You're currently holding in the button. If you want to let go at any point, you can. I'm going to keep holding it. Nothing appears to be happening immediately. There are mm. three other buttons in the room, however. There are two people. I am going to go to another button. Do you want to let go so we can come into the room and then... Wait, maybe that's not what it does. Just 
I'm gonna go and push another button and hold it. Uh, yeah, nothing appears to be happening. However, you do hear a low grumble. Uh, it doesn't appear to grow in stature or anything. It just it, it's like a static if the, grumble. If the Minotaur can't do it, then you guys don't yeah, have enough people. Go, yeah. yeah, I, I reopen the doors. Yeah, uh, you let go of both go buttons, button. and the door that enters into the room opens up. Uh, Clayton walks into the room, and he's like, "I don't know." Should we... Buttons. I'm you going just, to stay walk, on this side of the door. He walks over and he just pushes the button. No, Castor, right. we need you to push a button. Yeah, yeah, Clayton pushes. Uh, Simon goes to look over at Castor. Oh. You need to press the button. Then Clayton presses the button and closes the door. Uh, he <laughs> unpressed the button. He's like, "Sorry, I'm just following orders." Or right? I'm a good soldier. I thought there were three buttons. There's four, four buttons. buttons. No, there are three, three other three buttons. Other. Yeah. Sorry. Three uh, buttons five. plus the one being pressed. I, I'll take a very long stick. <laughs> you take okay i'll just say you have a really long stick as soon as somebody presses a button it breaks the stick shit yeah you have a you have I, a cord i walk into the room i said i pull out like a mary poppins i just pull one out from my robe like an incredibly long yeah stick. because it wouldn't I have been the solution i just say it as a joke uh um, right, i'll walk in i'll assume the position all right uh you uh all four of you press in a button and the door into the room closes while the one out of the room opens. Alright. Okay. Nah, cool. If I let go of the button, does it close again? It immediately closes again. So you have to find a way to stick it down. Well, they seem pretty it's... heavy buttons. Uh, you're not entirely sure how you would keep them pressed down. Uh, I mean, if Are I can... they buttons that are, like, down or on wall? They're on the wall, so they're inset um, into I, the wall. If I okay. if I upcast magic missile, does that have enough force <laughs> to push it? Down? I think a person might have to press it down. Um, while you guys are holding the buttons down, so like some of you may be holding a button down to have the exit open, uh, but may as long as one person's holding down a button, the door into the room opens, and huh? four individuals walk in that look exactly like you, and they look insanely surprised to see you there. Hey, perfect. Hold these buttons. Yeah. We have to go. I, I let go of the button and I'm like, hey, actually, I need you for something real fast. Well, uh, they all look incredibly surprised. Uh, Castor just, uh, the Castor copy just kind of looks a little unimpressed. Uh, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> while the other <laughs> three, oh, well, th this group, Simon, um, looks over at the Simon after he said, hey, hold down the button so we can go through. He's just like, no, you hold down the button. Let me go through. Uh, I dropped the button. <laughs> I can I can actually fix this real fast. I'm going to pull out my gun and I'm going to cast Cause Fear. <laughs> <laughs> and, the other claim and... draws a gun and casts Cause Fear. <laughs> cool. Uh, bardic Inspiration, right? I have Bardic Inspiration, yeah. And the other claim also has Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> oh, guys. Okay, as we, both, as we both draw guns together, I'm like, shit, I should have. Like, you're known about to cast a spell. Yeah, you're yeah, about to cast a yeah, spell, and the like, other one's about to cast a spell. Like, and they're just like, like nah, hey, hold on hey, here. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Yeah. There's hey. no reason for this to get technical. I, I assumed that there was some kind of trickery, and y'all were like fakes or something. Okay. Uh, how do I know that? How do we are. know that you aren't the fakes? <laughs> well, that's very simple. I was in this room first. I just had a suggestion. Uh, you can't copy this, something. This party's clean. Uh, yeah, this party's clean. It's just like, hmm, that's a fair point. And then the castor speaks beyond, no, it's not. And Clayton's just like, yeah, no, it's not. That no, it definitely is. Because think about this. All right. How could we <laughs> copy something into a room before we got into it? I don't Clearly, know, man. This maze this is room. magical or something. Clearly we walked into this room and then it copied us, and then now you're here. Maybe we never headache. walked into this room. I'm just gonna uh, eyeball myself and be yeah. like, you know what? I don't mind being copied. <laughs> it's, it's just absolutely impossible. You know what? Yeah, we'll we'll keep two of the Luciuses here together, and then we could double up on somebody else when we walk out. <laughs> and then we leave fine with this. Uh, if we leave both can, consider both this Lucius's. actually, if. If y'all hold the door open for us and we go forward, then the door will close and then it'll reverse. The, then the problem's taken care of, and y'all can just fucking leave and go. How do home. we know hold you're not just? How do, no, how do we hold know? Yeah. Hold on a second. How many of us have teleportation abilities? I have one. I have one. I have. Therefore, one. we have. Clayton says I have one. The Lucy says I have one. Simon says I have one. 
I want to uh, message the Simon. And I'm going to start oh. having a conversation outside of the group. So you like low whisper under your breath or you're talking to the other Simon and he's just like, what, what do you want? Exactly what's happened to you in the last 30 minutes. We met the Minotaur. He was weird. He's not here with us now, though. That's weird. What happened to him? I don't know. He followed us in. He went in first. He's not here now. Interesting. The Minotaur is currently just like look, like your guys' Minotaur. Actually, no. Yeah, he would have just been like, he's right there. Uh, well, you are mistaken. That one is ours. Yeah. But that's okay. This is new for you. Uh... <laughs> Look, the way that That sounds like something a copy would say. No. I mean, yeah, there's just two, like, Russian dudes with, like, their jaw straight with just, like, very minute facial twitches as they're messaging each other. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna describe the uh, puzzle and be like, look, I, we both know we're too smart to lie to each other right now. The way that this puzzle works right now yeah, is that no. if we let go of these buttons, the door behind you closes and the door that you're trying to go through opens. So if you just take our positions, we can go through that door, and you can go through the door you need to. Assuming... I don't know. That sounds very convincing, and that's not something I am generally able to do, convince people. Then roll a fucking insight check. <laughs> I'm not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't... Comrade. No, but I, I, really, I really think we can teleport all of ourselves, of both the, camps, uh... through the door. The castor, uh, their castor kind of just like whispers in Clayton's ear and is like, get ready, I'm gonna fight them. D don't, no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> put <laughs> fucking words in my mouth. <laughs> I, I, never, I don't engage combat! I would never have! <laughs> you so wanted to fight the, the, the Minotaur engage so combat. Bad. Let's kill the Minotaur! Hold on, hold Let's on. just kill them and be done with it. Let's put their hands into the holes and leave. Don't put your hands in my holes. <laughs> Hold on, um, I'm doing I'm doing some mental gymnastics here. All right, it's hard for me. Put it on a button if I thought that would work. I didn't I didn't spend a lot of time in school. I'm working on this shit. All right, I'm not an idiot. I'm just dumb. Okay. Uh, how you many? Did roll that, it, you did roll that Arcana check earlier. Do you yeah. want to follow up on that or? Yeah. Can I roll another one or? Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. All right. Anybody can at this point. <laughs> Oh, I uh, yes, my arcana ability. <laughs> oh, I can roll my bardic inspiration on this. Oh, yeah. It's a d8 now, right? Yeah, I believe so. Mm. Level 7 bard, that's a d8. 17. 16. <laughs> um... It's obviously like either it, it doesn't look like illusion magic they look very real uh so it's entirely possible you were just legitimately cloned okay uh, how many gonna... abilities do we have that can interact with these buttons i know you have mage hand right mm -hmm. so what else because that, that means we've got two mage hands that's well, a good point we have two mage listen hands. i have melt my meteor yeah, Simon uh, looks over at the other Simon, like still continuing the message. But listen, just press the button. We'll go on through, and then you can go on through, I guess, as well. We could follow after us. Mm. Well, actually, I need you to hit the button. Well, no, I yeah. need you. Yeah, to hit uh, the us button. hitting no, the button. Go through, and then you let go. I don't. I don't see what the issue is. If we go through first, then problem taken care of. You all can go home. You don't hear this conversation. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> It's but the other rates. Clayton does uh, spike up, just like, that does sound promising, but uh, we're here to kill the Crystal God. No, we're here to kill the Crystal God. No, nope. we're know, here to kill it. Listen, you can go home, and then we can take care of the Crystal God. Listen, I want to go home. I want to kill the Crystal God today. Honestly, yeah, I want to kill the Crystal God today, too. That's why I want you to go home. Oh, my fucking God. Why did, why did me also have to be ambitious? I'm just going to sit with myself in the corner, drinking with myself. Honestly, just yeah, you're, you're like mixing drinks for each other, like trying to make sure if you're actually the same Let's person. And so far, I, you're able to tell, yeah. I'm gonna flick out my uh, my my revolver thing, my revolver chamber, and cover up one of the holes. And the, the five fingers of Mage Hand are gonna come out of the 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 chamber. And I'm gonna step back from the button I push, and I'm gonna have the Mage Hand press it down and see if it works. Uh, it is able to produce enough force for it. It does work. Mm -hmm. Then doesn't work. Cover. Shit. No. 
Um, no, I said it does produce enough force. It does. Right. Work. Yep. Oh, it does work. Yeah, it, it does. does. So we it got does two buttons. indeed work. Yes, we got two that's what I was trying to get already. at. Yeah, the other Clayton does it as well. Almost like at the same time, like you guys came up with the idea around the same period, uh, same time. Uh, well, Simon's hand is twitching. <laughs> just really <laughs> eager to just start pulling things well, off. Well, this is fun, actually. Uh, Misty Step is the lower level spell. We'll Correct. we'll leave the two mage hands pressing it down, and we'll leave two Simons to press it down. We get in the other side and both Simons Misty Step. Uh, the other Clayton goes, yeah, you know what? I had the same idea. That, Nobody that, was my idea. That. that was my idea from the beginning of this conversation. <laughs> Both casters say in unison. <laughs> Listen, all right, I will I will let you know when you tell me when you can cast a spell and I will I will invite <laughs> you into the magic discussion. <laughs> all right. All right. So are we are we ready to give it a try? All right. So, uh, Clayton all right. is uh, the other Clayton is also pressing down a button. Uh, who's standing? How many people are you trying to get out of this room at the same time? Uh, everyone, everyone except <laughs> for the Simon. Simon and um, Simon and Simon. All right. Simon and Simon and Co. <laughs> Simon and Simon are not uh, pressing a button. They keep it off square. No, we're both <laughs> pressing a button. Oh, okay. You're both pressing a button. Uh, okay. And the mage hands are pushing the other ones. So who's about to get jumped out of here? Who's about to teleport? Uh, the Simon. Those are the right? two Simons. The two Simons are going to teleport. The rest of us are going through the open door. All right. Well, that that would mean that one of you would have to let go of the button, though, all right? No. Oh, no, I see what you're saying. No, so you're all, okay, so everybody else in the room is just trying to leave the room at the same time. Yeah. yeah. All right. A real tension-based uh, trade. <laughs> a hostage situation. All right. We're just going to back up nice and easy like. We're all friends. We're all family. All right. Uh, you set it up. Two Simons are pressing the buttons. Uh, Clayton, Clayton and Clayton Co. are also pressing some buttons, and the door opens. All right. I'll go first. There seems to be a rumbling as you approach the door in this fashion. Uh, uh, the other Clayton goes, no, wait, I go first. What do you mean? It's a fucking big doorway. We can walk together. God damn it. Oh. Don't get greedy on me here. I'm just Don't making sure that you still... ain't trying to get greedy on me. Listen, pal. All right. While they're talking, I, I'm just I'm just yeah, going to go and walk, walk yeah, you, Lucius and Lucius go through, and they both disappear immediately. I'll go through with Castor as well. Uh, Castor and Castor both go through at the same time and disappear immediately. All right. After you, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Clayton goes through and disappears immediately. All right, we took care of that problem, Simon. No. Uh, no, however, right his his, his, his uh, um, will go and ask the other Clayton. Oh yeah, but his mage hands would disappear with it. Yeah, which means the doors are starting okay. To close. So the doors close. It, it's mm. fast. It's a fast close. It's not like uh, it's. Mm. So we would have had to have all gone at the same time anyway. So uh, there's Cl Clayton and fine. two Simons in the room. However, the door to the entrance this place opens up and everybody yeah. that disappeared walks in again. But Hey, what what, hey what I need you to go walk over here and press that button real Wait, fast. Does that mean there's three Simons? Yeah, are there three no. Simons? Or no, no, there's, no, there's still two Simons. Just everybody that had disappeared through the exit doorway had just appeared through the entrance. All right, so I'm gonna be honest. I fucked that up. But both, both Lucius's are gonna fucking face palm and just shake their heads like, "What did you guys just do?" I fucked it up. <laughs> the same All right, I, I let one go first, and I fucked it up. All right, we're gonna try that again because I didn't give that a fair shake the first time around. All right, you all prepare again, and the door right. opens. And as soon as as soon as uh, both Claytons are going through, is when the two Simons have to jump forward. Yeah. Right. So everybody else leaves first. Uh, and they disappear as they enter through the doorway. One, two, three, go! <laughs> uh, and then instant teleportation, and then mm -hmm. uh, letting go of the hands, and you guys like go through, mm -hmm. uh, and you all disappear through the doorway, and then all enter through the entrance again. God fucking damn it! How there was we a just... weird rumbling that happened as soon as you, uh, as soon as like pairs went through. 
We can't leave at the same time as our pair. Can't leave pairs. Can leave. Uh, I vote we let our doppelgangers go through. That sounds right. terrible. Okay. I, I'm if very wise. To. Yeah, I'm if very you want wise. To, you can. Trust me, bro. Uh, All I right. have, I'm very intelligent. Uh, <laughs> a different skill. Uh, all right, well, fine. Doppelgangers first. What's the worst that's going to happen? They're going to show up again? They all look to each other and they're like, yeah, we'll go through first, I guess. All right, get the fuck out of here. Uh, you open the doors for them, they walk through. And then the door closes and the entrance door opens and they walk through again. All right, <laughs> so, so we tried that and clearly y'all are the wrong ones and we'll go through now. Who the hell are you guys? God, you... Oh my god. Okay, so to recap, since apparently you don't have fucking eyes, uh, <laughs> we're you, but from the future. And we know how to get through this situation. So what's going to happen is all of you have to press that button and send us through first, and we'll go on the other side and we'll hold the door open for the rest of y'all to get out. We've been struggling with this puzzle for a bit, but I finally figured it out. Found it. That's the solution. I need y'all to hold the doors open and I'll be right back. The Clayton goes over to the other guys and whispers, I think this is a trap. Right, we'll do just that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and they all kind of like nod to each you guys other. He's like, stand by the fucking door because as soon as that opens, we need to run through. I think they're trying to double cross us. <laughs> 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 oh, no, I trust them. All right, uh, <laughs> let's figure out what's happening here. Right, so you I guys like are... You guys are Let's pressing the buttons, the right? Time warp well, again. they're gonna press. Oh, they're the they're gonna press. Are they gonna press? And okay, so they're next. Go. They're next to the buttons. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, they're we're like the they're kind of getting close. Or you're by the door, and so it's like, hey, yeah. it's. Uh, I can't press the button then. What do you mean? The Clayton you says, there? I can't press the button. Press he like puts his hand on the button. I can't press the button then. Can you look at it? I'm not trying. Yeah, I'd like to make an inside check. <laughs> you know yourself best. Go ahead. If, if it's myself, can I have advantage of this inside check? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's the third. Uh, you don't even need to roll that high to be honest. Like, you're yeah. you're about to shoot yourself in the head. Yep. All you right. No. You don't trust yourself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's just like, listen. All right. As as he uses his action to summon the gun into his hand, he's like, "Listen, all right." A Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey, hey! Don't you hey, hey, hey me? I know me. Listen. He uh he like looks around. Been he's like trying, to, like he's trying to gauge some stuff. I really just need you to open the door so that we can go through, and then I will literally hold the door open for you for the rest of y'all to get out. That's not a hard concept. You know, uh, I scratch he, my back, you scratch yours. A deal's a deal, right? Uh, the Their Clayton looks over at their Simon and does a nod. It's like, yeah, yeah, let me get over to the... Simon! Uh, and then uh, Simon casts a uh, chilling... Uh, what, what, what spell is it? It's the chilling something. Uh, but they're chill casting touch? magic at you. Immediate, yeah, chill touch. Fuck everything. I don't even have chill touch. <laughs> I'm going to take oh, my own spell book. Feel it? Come on. Yeah, ice knife. Snow, oh, ice knife. Yeah, stuff. that's the one I was thinking of. He's casting ice knife at you. So, uh, All right. six shield. I guess the day is finally come and I'm going to have to kill myself. <laughs> finally. This is, uh, is going to get a little weird. <laughs> get funky as all hell, but the important thing is maybe we can put the fear of God in ourselves. It's not going to happen for me. You'd be uh, surprised. <laughs> this is gonna get so confusing so fast. Uh, let me see here. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the map set up. Here, I'll bring you guys over so you can roll initiative. All right. But I just need to get. Tokens for y'all out here. Let's see how much health you guys actually have. I have 50 HP. 50 sticks. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. And then Lucius. Alright. 48. Go 
and bring this up here. And this is the current scene. What's going on here? Uh, it is in indeed very fucking hey. weird. You know what we do have on our side, though? A full whole ass minotaur. Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and remove all these turns. Okay. Oh, that was their minotaur. Go ahead well, and roll off. initiative. Oh, that's a that's a good point. Yeah, it's our theirs. fucking minotaur. Yeah. He's looking around a little bit confused. He's gonna punch himself. Yeah, but he doesn't know who's who's who does he? No, he doesn't. God fucking damn it. Uh all right, I'm going to need so your guys' initiative. Uh, can I get some initiative modifiers? Uh, my initiative modifier is plus three. All right. D100s. What? I roll D100s by accident. Oh, there you go. That's better. Oh, God. Hey. Oh, like the other door is a 99 initiative. <laughs> oh, no! So I'll do it in order. That was, that's the... pretty shit rolls for a D100, yeah. not going to lie. Did a... Uh... Did Clayton roll his initiative? I'm like looking at chat yeah. for that. 14. Oh, oh I, I have yeah. I have my name set up, my bad. No, I was yeah, I was just looking for that. So it's a It's a 17. And then Lucius has a plus one, so he has he's at seven. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh their castor rolled an eleven. And is at plus four, so that's a 15. And then there's Simon, rolled a natural 20. So it's a 21. I mean, he did start with that ice knife, so it makes sense. Yeah, yeah so that's actually him doing the ice knife right now. I'm gonna shield. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, who's he targeting? Yeah, he's, he's targeting Clayton. Yeah. Okay. He's uh he's getting I'm the gun gonna... he's getting the gun off of uh their Clayton. So he's gonna go ahead and roll a plus oh, eight. Right there, Clayton is his money. Yep. Uh which yeah, so it's a seven plus eight. Uh that's a fifteen. Does fifteen hit Clayton? Uh it would. Nah, it's just ice knife, it's fine. Yeah, I'll let it hit. It meets okay. my AC. It's a D10, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, so that's six points of damage, and then it explodes. I need you to give me a dexterity saving uh, saving roll. Okay. Fifteen. Oh shit! Uh, is it? It's Simon. Is it six? Simon's yeah. sixteen. DC sixteen. That's two D six, right? Of uh, mm -hmm. fragment damage. Do yeah. you want me to just roll for Simon's uh spells? Nah, I got it. I, have I got it. it. Right, I got 41. it. 41. Right. Yeah, so, so that's just... uh that's six plus three points of damage on you. Yeah, as he's a nice like, knife goes and explodes. The... <laughs> he's like, oh uh And but like as he gets hit, he turns and he looks up at Simon and he's like, you know what? I'm actually touched by our level of connection. <laughs> I'll stab you. <laughs> I mean if I stop hanging you. <laughs> uh the other um the other Clayton is going to go ahead and draw his gun. Uh, and he's going to go ahead and point it over at uh, who he thinks is the most uh, useful in the party. Himself. <coughs> yeah. It's uh, unfortunate. So that's that's right. two Eldritch Blast. Ooh, I'm that's immune to critical hits. You are immune to critical hits. But it's still does hit. Uh, my is a plus seven. It's a fucking twenty-five and a twenty-seven. I'm getting hit. <laughs> yeah, or so 26. you get hit twice uh, with Eldritch Blast, which is a, a so that's two D ten plus six total damage. Mm -hmm. uh, that's twenty points of damage on Clayton right it immediately. Plus that uh, ice knife. How are you looking? Yeah, I'm at twenty-one out of fifty. That's not good. He's just like, and he's like, oh. Uh, that's Molotov's turn. You're a Molotov. They don't seem to have a Molotov. Uh, oh, really? Interesting. Summons don't get copied? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> I'm gonna put him there. Alright, so he flies past everybody and just goes fly right there. Uh, Simon, it's your turn. 
This is me, Simon. <laughs> this is this is real Simon. Yeah, real Simon has a name. <laughs> it has a name tag. Oh, that makes sense. Um, let me just look at something really quickly. Uh, I'm like, here. Every time I see the Minotaur on the turn order, I think it's a tiny little drone that's at the jaunty angle. <laughs> yeah, it's it has like a, a, a shadow and everything. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna fireball the whole team and use uh, evocation to avoid Molotov. Okay, the, <laughs> you uh, go. All right, uh, are you upcasting it? He can't. I can't. You don't have levels. You don't have fourth levels. Oh, that's you right. You don't have. Yeah, you don't have fourth levels because you took two fighter. Yeah. Bang. So they're all making dexterity saving throws, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. My dexterity save is plus two. So uh, you failed. Well, he, the other you, the nine, whoever had the nine, I'm going down the list. Uh, I'm actually going down the list here, so that 11 is the Lucius. Uh, would Lucius have survived this? Uh, what What am I? You have an 11 fire. plus your dexterity oh, save. Would, would you have? Yeah. Oh, he's resistant to fire, though, yeah. Oh, yeah. But no, did he still he... save, though? What's, uh, what's no. Lucius' dexterity? What am I comparing it to? Plus one. What's your dex save? De dex dex. Save, save. You're not taking the, anything, by the, the way. Modifier? This is your copy. Yeah, you're, what's your dexterity saving throw? What's the modifier? Plus three? God damn. Okay, jeez. That's a 14. I wasn't sure what number I was supposed to be looking at here. So, uh, a lot of numbers. You just killed him a fucking brick. So he takes half the <laughs> damage still. So that Lucius is at like half health immediately. <laughs> or no, not quite. No, 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 it's not. He's uh, it's only at minus 16. Uh, now that nine plus your dexterity save, Clayton, would mean right, that you. Nope. So you took the brunt of it. Nope. Or your doppelganger. Doppelganger doesn't look all that great right now. Nope. Uh, what's Castor's dexterity yeah, save? Throw? Plus seven. Yeah, I was like, it's fucking incredible. <laughs> so you take half. Oh god, he's level seven now, isn't he? Yeah. He has evasion. No, I don't. We went in the fighter. He went in the fighter. Oh, no, because yeah, he's, he's not a monk. Hey. Yeah. Uh, what is well, uh, Simon's dexterity saving throw? <laughs> he failed. Uh, Never mind. One. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that Simon's looking uh, legitimately half health now. Clayton Clayton looks at Simon. He goes, uh, I'm in firm belief now that we're actually the originals. <laughs> Oh yeah, you didn't know. That that's how an opening move works. <laughs> uh Castor. Damn, forty foot radius. Forty foot this diameter. Is the, this is the real Castor. Radius. I'm I'm not, I'm kind of depressed by this whole thing. And I wanna see the depression in my castor in that not castor's eyes too. You should have put little mustaches on all of them. <laughs> um, no, then uh, they would be all real. I <laughs> I'm gonna go and, and I'm gonna kind of like nod my head to the right to the other cast door and just kind of walk down here. Okay. Uh, here, and then I want to hold my action to um, throw with like with my fists, like with my hands rather, throw an arrow at the cast door when it walks if down he, here. If, so he, he, if he shoots, grab it, throw it back at me. Okay. <laughs> and just play arrow volley. Uh, while we wait for our companions to stop killing the only way we have out of this room. Uh, the other castor nods as well and actually follows your action in suit and actually throws an arrow at you. Sweet! I'm gonna catch it. You, like, both throw an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that you can still get your reaction to throw it back. So you both throw an arrow at each other, you catch it. And then we throw it back at each other. And then you throw it back at each other, and you catch it. <laughs> this this goes on for several hours. Yeah, this goes on for a while now. Uh, who's going to convince the uh, Minotaur to fight along their side? Uh, I turn to the Minotaur, and I just point at them, and I'm like, kill them or I'll kill you. <laughs> uh, the Clayton does that in sync. Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> ah, this is... The Minotaur looks extremely you know confused as he does not understand your language. I'm just gonna say, you're starting to piss me off. <laughs> he says it too. <laughs> God. 
Uh, Clayton, it's your turn. The Minotaur just kind of looks on, is not sure how to repay his debt. What I need from this situation isn't a fucking big hit. What I need is goddamn numbers. Uh, That's a big I'm hit. going to pull out my vial, my crystal vial of tears, flip it like a coin into the air, and just one last job. And it's caught by the Lone Rider, who I'm going to use a fourth level spell slot to cast. Because those are the only ones I have. Yeah. I don't know if you updated and the Lone Rider or not. I did. Oh, sick. I, I updated him. He should drag over just fine. Yeah, here he is. Uh, his health might be wrong, but... It is, but I can fix that. All right. uh, but I, I can summon him up to within 60 feet of me. Okay. I'm going to summon him here. Okay. Uh, right, right. Let me double check something. Ah, right, get off. Get off my screen. Nope. I'm going to summon him here. And, uh, he is going to use his action to dreadful scream. All of them need to roll me a wisdom save or be frightened. All right. Am I making three wisdom saves or four? Uh, four. It's anyone within 30 feet of me. Or a blown <laughs> rider. So Simon crit fails. Uh, what is Simon. Castor's uh, what's Castor's saving throw for wisdom? wisdom? Four. So that's a that's an eight. So he's frightened of the Lone Rider. Uh, I believe uh, Lucius, this Lucius uh, failed, and then this Clayton succeeded. Yeah, only Clayton not got scared. So every all the other all the rest of them are f- afraid. Yep. Mark it with that. And that's that's me. That's about what I got is just getting a lone rider in play, and him taking his turn to do that. All right. <coughs> then it is Lucius's turn. The real Lucius. Uh, I summoned him with uh, Fury, by the way. Okay. What does the real Lucius do? In the situation, stand up. More like he sits down. All right. Um, <laughs> let's see. Hmm. I am going to. I don't know if this will work. Oh, never mind. It won't work. He can't... Can't understand. He just... Hear shit. I was gonna suggest in the, um... Minotaur, but... He can't understand me for shit. Yeah. Only speaks Abyssal. Unfortunate. Well, if we're killing ourselves, <laughs> then it's only fair that I... Let's see, where... where? Discord. Yeah, I can... I will approach myself. Yeah. Uh, give myself a wink. And then... Eh, get the fuck off my screen. Whoops. I mean, that's the button I was supposed to press, but th- this is supposed to be the roll. Um, up, 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 up. At fourth level. Oh, okay, so that's how much damage? Uh, the 11 does not hit him. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, spiritual weapon is a to hit. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. You? Yeah. Yeah. For Cry. Sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah. For sure. For sure. Uh, so the spiritual weapon is summoned and tries to pierce oh. his clothes, uh, but gets stopped by something uh, underneath the clothing. You know what it is. You wear it too. Uh, Shit. 
Is Can there anything see? else you're doing? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> because the answer is no. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, I guess I don't. Aw, oh, dang it. Well, that was your bonus action, so you could still do an action. You could oh, yeah, him. shank him. That... It's, it's just, I just rolled. And then you try to go stab him. Yeah, and it doesn't work. <laughs> and the same thing happens. This Lucius uh, is surprised you just attacked him after winking at him. That's the clear sign that you were going to fake attack him. And well, does the exact same Which thing I know that he would know that, so that's why it's playful. That's I missed on purpose. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm, I I tell myself, I come on, man. I, so he's going to go ahead and attack you I with a spiritual hurt weapon. <laughs> and it fails. <laughs> and then he's going to attack you with the rapier. Uh, and it fails. Oh. And it, uh, what's your bonus for that? It's plus one? It's 13? Oh. So literally, Wait, like, it, it's in succession. Like, you try to stab him twice, it fails. He tries to stab you twice, it fails. Uh, and you just look at each other awkwardly. It's, uh, it's now fake Simon's turn. He's going to take the playbook, get Clayton and Simon both in a fireball. Uh, you need to make a dexterity saving throw. Wonderful. Wonderful, so wonderful, wonderful. You need it. This deck save? Oh man. <laughs> hey, I made it! He has the potential to outright kill me. Not with those uh, rolls. Well, not with those rolls. So, Simon, you take the full brunt of 29 points of damage as fire bursts into your face. Clayton takes uh, half that's of that. Sweet. Uh, half of 29 would be 14. This is great. Oh, I've not been updating my D&D Beyond, damn it. You have second wind, don't you? I do. How many third level spell slots do you have access to again? It's like, like three? Two. two. Well, that's enough. Uh, hey, you can do it again. So he's going to action surge and do it again. Sick. So I need action two dexterity saving throws from Clayton and Simon yet again. Oh, you mean this dexterity sa I'm going to use a jack dollar. Um... <laughs> 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 I've decided. I even if I even if I had made my save, this would knock me out. I I don't like me. Yeah. Um, I've decided. There's a. <laughs> you uh. So you take the full brunt of thirty points of damage to your face again as two fireballs are cast on you in succession. Uh, I'm gonna be real. I forgot I had that. So I'm Clayton, glad I'm getting a you. You lose all I'm consciousness. Out. Now, here's yeah. the thing. This is what happens. And I need you uh, to understand that this is very strange, so we're going to go through it step by step. You die. You are blasted to smithereens by the fireball. Everybody sees it. Your body parts go all over the room. You are full dead. And then all you right. walk through <laughs> the entrance door again. God, fuck it. All right, hold your fire. Hold your Everybody fire. Everybody turns to up. look hey, at Clayton. Huh? Everybody turns to look at Clayton as he walks into the room. Hold your fire! Hold your I'm, I, I take my like bandana mask around my head and start waving it like a white flag. Hold your fire! Uh, does everybody agree to stop in combat? I mean... <laughs> as long as they do. But okay. I'm they they all look surprised by this and they're just like, Oh, this will just go on forever then if we keep fighting. So. Yeah. Alright. So, I continue tossing arrows back and forth with Castor. <laughs> it, it goes on Castor for... plays Pet. Yeah. Castor's dad isn't here, so he's going to play catch by himself. God damn it. Yeah, <laughs> basically. All right. So uh, a ceasefire has, has been called, and everybody agreed to it. As we're uh... all kind of looking around at what the fuck's going on with this room. All right. So I'm no fucking goddamn mathematician. You have full but, uh, health, by, by the way. Oh, sweet. Wonderful. Great. Oh, shit. Does that mean that other people that want to get their health back should go kill themselves? <laughs> go have fun, dude. I don't care. <laughs> All right, I'm fully faced. So. It, it doesn't it's, it's, work. Do, do, you let, do you let your castor kill you? No, I'm full HP. I don't need to. Oh, okay. You're, you're uh, the other castor, is it? So he actually All goes right. up to you. And, uh, Let's hey, sit can down. You, can you kill me? Yeah, 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 hold up real you quick. Just snap his neck. 
<laughs> As I like real quick, just like stab him through the heart, and like there was one of those kung fu things where my 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 hand goes straight through the body. Oh yeah, pulls absolutely. The heart out. And he just like right. looks at you in pain and misery, and he just falls to the ground, bleeding profusely. And then he walks to the door again. I'm gonna try huh. something. I walk out the door that we came in through. Uh, you can't for it is closed. It, it's like opening and closing as people are coming in and out. All right. Yeah, all right. There, down, there, there, now that there's like two sets of you, now there are two sets of you, it seems like the only way out is the exit. So, shit. Funny. Wait, what happens if we push one of the buttons? It won't open the door? It yeah. uh, it won't open the door. So if you like what nobody's we... pressing a button anymore, it seems that now that there's a, two sets of you, uh, the doors are closed. Hmm. Who knew that this is all it took to make a full session? <laughs> <laughs> this was it. No, I'm kind of proud of this one. You're not going to like the answer, though. I'm not going to like the answer because... Sounds like my campaign. What if we go back the way we came? That's what I, I just said to that do. You what can't because it's closed. What if we kill one word I we... will say that there's still more to learn about the room that you have not found out yet. All right, I'm going to start doing more learning. All right. I, I, I thought we killed them. He's really just a nuisance at this point. I'm gonna do Arcana. Please. All right. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna. <laughs> well, me, hey, me, and me are gonna look around. Not, that's not quite right. Yeah. Uh, you want to roll what? for the other Lucius as well? Oh, I'll roll for the other Clayton. <laughs> yeah, roll for the other Clayton. Just roll higher, Jesus. All right. There we, we go. Oh, Wait, yeah, you can choose. Simon. You can choose which Simon. Uh, got the roll. Uh, I got it. Yeah, sure. Si Gee, dude. Simon Prime. <laughs> okay, Simon <laughs> Prime looks around the room, looks at the glyphs, looks at the way the magic flows, and realizes, shit, this is all, it's time magic. Wow, really? Thanks, genius. From what you can gather about this, it's very powerful, but on one thing, it seems to be, when, when the loop is not done properly, uh, the room simply resets, enforcing a loop. I want to work with Simon uh, to get a result. All right. What does that mean? What loop done perfectly? How so? Well, uh, As in, like, you can think of incongruent time. Uh, they can't. Uh, based on that, you and from what you've already seen, you would understand that uh, sending the new group through the newer group in first would not complete the loop if this is so, governed if this room is governed by time uh congruent time needs to be ensured so we have to go through first you have to go right, through but first you right that. but but oh. we as in they still won't fucking let us go through here's the uh, thing unless, that's Simon unless we we all tell us that there simon actually has come to the same conclusion uh and kind of looks at you and is like this is time magic I wasn't sure if you understood that or not. I was telling you. I'm a, oh well, actually, I rolled the natural twenty, I so actually, I think you're confused. Uh, I actually <laughs> am not that dumb in how magic works. I'm pretty good with my arcana, actually. Uh, so <laughs> well, it seems like y'all just had to let us fucking do what we were planning on doing, and this whole thing would have been solved. Well, how so the hell long. were you supposed to know that you weren't just gonna stab us in the back? Uh, considering you actually threw a knife at my fucking chest, I feel like the the hostility was unwarranted in this direction. <laughs> What's Simon doing? <laughs> oh, I'm forcing the other Simon to kill me. <laughs> oh, okay. He takes his uh, flame you... tongue, activates I mean, it, and kills you. Simon dead. Uh, Simon walks through the door full health. Great. Ugh. So we're gonna walk through. There's still corpse parts all over the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna hold the buttons, and we're just out of five thousand. I'm not, I'm done with this. Uh, we the all, other we all says, good? Yes, this is how this room was meant to be done. I would all know right. that. I'm I'm very smart. Uh huh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, the four previous ones go to hold the buttons. All right. Four OGs walk through, and Clayton walks through with his like backwards it, like just watching <laughs> all of the rest of the floor like let's not get crazy in here as soon as you like, walk through the I, door I, 
I make sure it. I'm waving to myself goodbye, and bo and I'm also waving myself goodbye. <laughs> yeah, we were both you waving do. goodbye to each other. You should talk to someone, my wow. guy. <laughs> what? It's it's hard to find someone who understands me so well. All right. Um, you uh, all four of you walk through the door, and this time you don't disappear. You simply continue on your way. The Minotaur follows suit. I told uh, you should. And then the door closes. <laughs> They're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> nice you people. can assume you can assume this entire process will repeat for them at uh and then the entire process will repeat for the ones that come after for all eternity. Or not, because Sick. it's technically only taking up a, a like thirty minute interval. But then how do the last last ones get out? That's a good they that's don't. a good question. That's uh, not a time. Uh, that's we damned ourselves. Uh, Let's happens. go. <laughs> <laughs> when the um, universe my, my brain back. slightly hurts thinking oh, yeah. about the infinite number of Luciuses getting trapped in that room. No. Yeah, technically, uh, no no Lucius has died when you went through there. Uh, so that's good. I died. Yeah. Clayton also died. Yeah. Alright. I, uh, I, I, I mean... Necklace. Yeah, you're alive, right? Well, you killed yourself. <laughs> Not that that's confusing. <laughs> All right, I need somebody to roll me a D3. I got you. I got you. Don't even sweat it. Lucius rolled too many. <laughs> <laughs> I had my hands off the keyboard. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I gotta go. <sighs> Who am I going with then? Am I going with Simon or am I going with Lucius? Go with Simon because Lucius has right, rolled all of them. Let's do Simon then. All right. Also rolled. He's also rolled six, five, four, three. Like yeah, <laughs> he's continually getting lower. Um, all right. Well, it is a D three this time. Um, okay, we'll go with Simon's then. You guys continue on the path that has been given to you, and eventually you uh, find yourself in a very open room. It seems to be quite large, about a hundred three feet wide. However. Uh, going out the other direction, as you kind of see, there's a huge pit that spans about 300 feet over to a different dimension. By dimension, I mean like dimensions Ooh, of the room. Right. So it goes like it's 100 feet wide and like 400 feet uh, across. Uh, 300 of that feet being the open gap. There are chains that seem to connect the two. Uh, you don't know how old they are, but they seem fairly sturdy. Uh, I'm going to need a perception check from people. I have advantage. Yeah. Nice. Too slow. <laughs> okay. Fine, it's whatever. <laughs> so I don't care. Yeah, I'm not like actually observing it. It's funny. Yeah, but, yeah, but you know. It's, uh, it, it'd be nice to roll higher than the guy that just rolled one die. You know? <laughs> Impossible. Yeah. So what did it's I say? Uh, I'm about to half inebriated. Out. Jesus, yeah. Well, um, everybody else seems to fail this one, except for Lucius. Lucius, you see a figure uh, over the over the ravine, over on the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, what? It's a little bit dark. It's not extremely well lit. There is still the blue lighting everywhere from the blue flame sconces. Uh, okay, but it appears to be a, a feminine uh, figure holding a bow. Ah, no. It is now drawing at you. Oh, I step in front. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone say shooting me with projectiles? We'll say it hits because you're trying to get hit. Uh, let me go ahead and roll the damage for it. The 4,892. <laughs> 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 I catch it. Uh, five, six, seven, and then an extra D four. One, two, four, five, six, seven, twelve, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, 12. damage on Castor as an arrow about just about flies through him. All right, hold up. Let me real quick. Seven D ten plus nine. I catch it. You catch it. You caught the arrow. Congratulations. Is there a message on it? There is. Ha. I throw it back. Don't touch my arrow. You can't. It's, it's far outside the reach of a, of a monk weapon. Because it's like Fuck. 20, 20 I take to out 60. My bow 
and yes. shoot the arrow back at the message, say. No! Yes! Mage hand, I take the message. Fuck! <laughs> you take the message and unfurl it. Always gotta be. Uh, gotta it be says, uh, wet green monk shit with you, which can't <laughs> chill. Uh, it's so it basically it, it says something the along the lines. The I'm sorry, what? So, you're so concerned with material goods like messages <laughs> and arrows. I'll never that's not material goods, that's information. That's what does the message say? <laughs> uh, your betrayal has been noted. Oh, oh. shit. Oh. Hey! Yeah, Never mind. Actually, actually, this one's for you. Thank <laughs> you. Then I'm going to go back, reattach the message to the arrow, and shoot it back at her, but this time with actual purpose. All right. Uh, it's a 300 foot gap. Uh, you can shoot that far, right? Yeah, yeah but it's a disadvantage. At dis okay, give me a disadvantage roll. Um, yeah, Are you the, just uh, putting the same message on it? or? Yeah, same message. Longbow at max range is 600 feet, according to D&D. Oh, Beyond. sick! Yeah, then there you go. What the fuck? That's cool. yeah, max range. It's still, still it's still, still disadvantage though, because it's within like the close range in the max yeah. range. Up up to like 150 Effective feet range. is is normal. 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 Yeah. And past that, up to. Well, I mean, I don't expect to actually hit. Well, whatever. I, I, again, I don't expect to actually hit her. Is that a disadvantage? Uh, that then? is. It is a yeah. dis disadvantage. 16. Uh, the arrow flies past her. Missed by one. I mean, that's not her AC. Anyway. Oh, almost had it. Let me show you something, and I'm going to fire. <laughs> you uh, Does the revolver have a range? Oh, unless you have Eldritch Blast. Can I block that attack? Oh, no, wait. You know what? My Eldritch Blast has a range of 240 feet. I can't, I can't hit her from here. All right. I, wouldn't, I would not let you hit her from here. Uh, it's not your fucking call. <laughs> it, it is if I block the shot. <laughs> if you try to block my shot, I will thunderstep you. She ass. appears to just be waiting for you to start approaching closer via the chains. Oh, you're. Ah, uh, so I can just dimension door and walk right next door. Sure, if you want to. Via the chains, you said. Yeah. Well, the chains seem to be the only way across. Uh, Clayton pulls up his mask and he goes, "Let's ride," and I'm gonna activate my wings of flying. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah <laughs> let's uh let's begin combat anew since there's only one combatant we don't need to bring out of our huge map it's gonna be way too big anyway because of the, uh, the i universe. didn't have it right i mean uh, I, don't... I don't have any maps for you i've just been using the same one so we'll just use uh, this it's... hey there she is oh wow. oh i thought he was saying hey oh, this looks oh. sick. Uh, hey, roll a... I can stop it. It's five. Sick. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get combat music going again, because there's a lot of that here. Okay. Let me go ahead and organize all of this. Uh, I accidentally closed that. That's fine. Alright, so first up on the list here is Clayton. <laughs> All right, so let me double check what my fly speed is. Equipment, it's flying. There's a 300 feet. foot gap. So if it's right. 300 feet away, I can move 60 feet forward and then choose an elder's blast range. Okay. Just, just uh, as a specification, is how many, like, so there's a, a giant, like, gap and there's a bunch of chains across it? There are several chain? chain. No, there's several chains. All okay. they almost appear like they're supposed to try to keep this floor these two floors together uh but it seems like you could cross uh cross them with that much difficulty uh, well like, don't get hit it's, while it's you're like, on it yeah it's like it's like a chain bridge that's not very sturdy yeah <laughs> jesus uh both those will hit uh shit shit rolls uh 11 points of force damage jeez uh, two he shots like, go flying at her at top speeds and hit her. Uh, he like just, just one, just one question before uh, you embark on this incredibly stupid path of a. Uh, it's a very long distance. Yeah. Are you like yelling? Uh, it? Uh, <laughs> just a thing before you embark uh, on the 
Yeah, before you embark on this decision, why the hell would you want to aim your sights on me? Uh, is it the end of your turn? Uh, yeah, because I can't bonus action. You can Hexblade Curse? She's too far away. Too far uh, away. Uh, yeah. Hexblade Curse has a 30 foot range. Well, it's now her turn, and she's going to go ahead and lob an arrow over at you. Which huh. is a plus nine. Yeah, but she's throwing it, so. <laughs> you said what? Does a, uh, does a 17 hit you? Uh, what's the word? Uh, no, I'm not going to use a shield on this. I didn't use a shield last time either. All right. Do you want to use a shield? Nah, it's fine. Okay. Then it's a D8 plus... So baby bitch, Jera, what you fucking got, what you fucking got. Uh, 10, and then plus a D4. So 13 points of damage as an arrow with a note plunges into your shoulder. I read the note. <laughs> it says money. Oh, well, at least she answers quickly. I Tell me, Castor, how come your fucking organization <laughs> cares about money suddenly? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. Interesting. Who's paying you? Hit me with the next <laughs> one. Come on. Uh, is she here or her second attack? Oh, wow. That one definitely misses. Yeah, that's an 11. That just kind of goes flying past. Ah! Uh, yeah, yeah, there is a note. <laughs> yeah, there is a note on it. It hits Cas at, at Castor's feet. How, how many? How, how much time does she have to write all these notes? In the <laughs> my hand was still up. Can I pluck it out of the air? No. Oh, just ah, shit. Not my job. I'll read Damn the note. Yeah. Real quick. All right. The uh, note simply says, uh, "It's an interesting way to gain power, but it seems obsolete now." <laughs> Money, you mean? Yeah, definitely. What's it say? Naming <laughs> 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 bullshit. Yeah. It is Who now Lucius's you? turn. It says my lucky numbers for today are 37, 49, and <laughs> Three cups of flour, two eggs, a Unfortunately, large... she, can't, she can't send out another message because she already used her two attacks. I know, but that's just him, that's just him priming her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She begins writing furiously. Anyway. Uh, it's now Lucius' turn. I, I How far away is you've she? You've never heard her myself? talk. It's true. It's true. But you've only met her the once, so. <clears throat> How far away is she? From uh, me? Over a 300 foot gap. Alright, never mind that. How far does Dimension Door go? It's not Dimension Door that I'm worried about, and Dimension Door really doesn't fucking matter. Okay. I mean, it's 500 feet max, but yeah, it, it, I can't technically could, use that. You could take a willing person. I could. I, oh, dude, I'm dude. just going to say this. I can't use Dimension Door. Why can't you use that? I, I only have one spell slot for level four, and I used it on upgraded spiritual weapon when <laughs> I missed. Wonderful. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, Alright. So it looks like you have to go the old fashioned way. I nothing I can do. Fucking dash. You can bardic inspiration and dash. I I got to Yeah, that would let you uh that would let you traverse sixty feet. Mm-hmm. Doubles your walking speed. And would help in case you get hit. Does it double flying? Mm, dashing? That's an interesting question. Dash, I think you can dash magic when you're flying, and it's basically you using your move action twice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So then, you want to cast sure, fly? Not? Yeah. You can't dash because just... you just used your action to cast fly, but you can use that uh, next turn. Yeah. Well, uh, but okay. if you fly, I think your uh, movement speed goes up to sixty feet, so you can still get. Right. Well, I was just trying to see if I can move one hundred and twenty feet. Ah. Uh, okay. Would you, would you mind casting you fly next year? Year? Is that possible? I don't think he can, because he's, he's casting what? it via the loot. Uh, I, okay, okay. I mean, it just says a willing creature. So you can cast it on somebody else. Absolutely. I could. I could. I'm fast as fuck, boy. And then I'll be able to use the dash action. I will say, Castor already has better movement than me. So um, I feel like it's more evening the playing field. 
Yeah, I'll I'll let you fly. Sure, why not? Heart Obu. Okay. Then you've <laughs> cast fly then... on Simon. Simon's yeah. getting motion sickness. And then I'll uh, also give him a bardic inspiration. Awesome. Obu. Just hammering all that stuff out over on Simon. Are you uh, traversing the chains, or are you deciding that's not a good idea? I'll just stay where I am for now. Okay. Just uh, kind of see what happens. Go with the flow. All right, Simon, you now have the ability to fly. I'm flying. I'm going to dash, and then I'm going to use my um my uh, action surge. Oh, shit. That's, that's right. Called. Yes. Yeah, and you didn't use it, that so you saw it. All right. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, I can you dash one. twice? I don't know. Like with action surge, it is an action. To your, yeah. to what your is action. exactly? What is the wording of the dash action? Because that's important. I can look it up. I think it technically says it doubles your movement dash speed. It just, I think yeah, it just doubles it. Um, it the increase equals your okay. You gain extra movement for the current turn. The increase equals your speed after applying any modifiers. The speed of the. Okay, so yeah, it just says it increases your speed, and the speed equals your walking, your current speed. Yeah, so, so with you that can. said, yeah, you can, you can just dash again. Epic. So that's what two hundred and forty feet. Uh, well, you would dash well, once, and that'd be one hundred and twenty feet, and you would dash again, again, which would add sixty, so one hundred and eighty feet. One hundred and eighty feet. Yeah, and, I, and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say because it, I think it also says it. it uh, 60 plus uh, the 60. increase equals your speed after applying any modifiers. Oh, what? So that can't be allowed. <laughs> that can't be allowed yeah, with action I'm surge. Two hundred and forty dash. That's ridiculous. No, that, I'm, I'm gonna say no. Boy. That that doesn't that doesn't add up. That, is, that can't. <laughs> take the dash action once per turn, or else that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't make any There's sense no to me. Part. That that doesn't line up with logic. So I'm gonna say you can't take the dash action again. Okay. Okay. Well then. Well then, 180 feet is what I'll do. No, I think you mean just to get 120 feet, and then yeah, 120. You're saying you, can't twice. you can't dash right. it twice. Well, 60 so feet times two is 120. Oh, okay, I get you. I get you. Okay, then yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right. Uh, then you have flown 120 feet over the gap. Remember that number. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Or are you going to use your action surges to do other stuff, or what? All right, now you're 180 feet away. Yeah. That's a little far to do with almost any of your spells. I mean, I'm only 30 feet away from being able to cast Fireball at it. Yeah, but you're... Which is impressive. Yeah. Think about it. Uh, I'm 60 away from being able to use Melt My New Meteor. I don't think I have anything. I mean, Scorching Ray is 120. Message is 120. You can messenger? <laughs> Send messages back? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> You stop that. Uh, there you go. Okay, you can do anything, huh? yeah. All right, then it's Castor's turn. Or are they Misty Step? Technically, as a bonus action. The spell isn't cast on you, yeah. So you're yeah. in, like, drop. Okay. You want to Misty but Step even further? you 20 feet, which still have you 10 feet away from what you need to do. It might be a good idea to just hold it for now. Yeah, yeah. all right. All right, Castor. What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna take the dash action. Okay. I'm gonna uh, go up 80 feet. All right. So you are now 80 feet across the chains as you're just kind of running along them. Um, and as my bonus action, I'm going to take the uh, dodge. I use a key point to take dodge. Okay. So it is Maltov's turn. Is Maltov uh, sending this one out, or is he flying alongside you, or trying to? He'll fly alongside me, trying to keep pace. Uh, he has a fly speed of 60 feet, right? So he can just dash along with you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you go. Then, uh, Clayton. Back All to right. you. All right. Back to me. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. Ladies, what's my weakness? Man. Okay, then. Uh, I'm going to move an extra 60 feet closer because she's still not in gun in range. Or, wait, let me double check what the revolver range is. Uh, equipment. Or, I guess, actions. And that would be... Nah, it's 40 to 120 feet. Shit, dog. I'm... <laughs> uh, 
I will move. So I'll move 60 feet closer. So I'm 120 feet away. And I'll tell me if you heard this one before. I'm going to Eldritch Blast. Okay. Go ahead. Pop because, off two shots. Because that's with Spell Sniper, that's the only thing that has her in range. All right. Oh, the only 21. thing. 17. S- uh, those will both hit. 10. Four. 14 points of damage. Uh, 14 <laughs> more points of damage go shooting into her. Uh, she's looking. She's looking like she's had better days. Uh, but it, it, anything you're doing? Anything still else? Still await. Still await in your letter. <laughs> uh, it is now her turn, and she's gonna go ahead and throw an attack out at Clayton since they appear to be the closest. Crazy. Only 180 feet away from her. Why is this not okay? There you go. Um, that's gonna hit you. What is it total? 22. Uh, it's a plus 9. Okay, sweet. Yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> sweet. Sweet, that'll hit. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Alright. 12. 15. 15? It's plus 5. 86. Plus 5 to damage. Sweet. Okay. Oh, it's 13. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I think I said that. So, 13 points of damage on Clayton. As a shot goes into the other shoulder this time. Uh, and it says the that. governor. Oh, you know what? Ah, never mind. You won't be able to live long enough to tell him. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was going to be like, you tell him I'm gunning for him too. But for a second, he was just like, now nah, you're going to die here. What am I doing? <laughs> uh, she's going to go ahead and attack you again. It's plus nine. <laughs> that hits. Uh, it's a d8 and a d4 plus... <laughs> Plus five. So that's it. 15 more points of damage. Ow. Uh, goes shooting into Clayton, and the message on this one just says, You wish. Uh, how many points of damage that time? Uh, that was 15 that time. Uh, he's he's going to take that damage, that hit. He doesn't look very good, but he's just like, <laughs> what, What's your health right now? Is it matched on roll 20 or is it different? Yeah. It's just, oh. <laughs> it's looking, real, looking real low, big gay. Uh, but it's fine. Simon, Simon's coming. Yeah, people can't see it right now. It's nine. Before her turn ends, the last thing Clayton will, will say is he's like, how, how in touch is your organization and working with devils? It's all right. Just get back to me on your turn. <laughs> They're not, don't worry. I'd hate to rush you. Alright, um... It's now Lucius' turn. Clayton's not looking too good. Uh, above that channel there. Yeah, I'm gonna, um... It's 120 feet away, I think. Yeah. Maybe I'm not gonna... You could move up and... I, you'll be on right. the chains, and if you get hit, there's a good chance you won't be able to keep balance. I. He's Pass was currently taking 20 risk feet away. Mm-hmm. I won't be able to get to him. That's, that's to, don't worry about to it. heal. Yeah. I've got a plan. Yeah. My turn comes up before hers. Hang on. What if I. Nope, it's. Okay, what if I. Anyway, what's Lucius doing, huh? The tension's rising. I, I really, really don't know. Maybe uh, ask really nicely if you can go across the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> can you hold your fire till we can get over there, please. <laughs> this is cheating. Yeah, hold on. Uh, I feel like you have an unfair advantage. Oh, you're not playing by the rules. <laughs> All right, I guess I will invisible myself and start walking across. Oh, well, uh, good, good. if you drop concentration on Simon, there may be problems. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Yeah, they're both concentrated. <laughs> I mean, if you feel it's more not, it's well, not impossible. 
he could still catch the chains uh, and start walking across. Is it a dexterity uh, saving throw? Yes. No, my God, don't do that. He's not <laughs> dexterous have, at all. I think you have one jack dollar left, so I'm just and you can still share jack dollars amongst each other as well. That means we have the possibility to use one to save me. Yeah, because. <laughs> Yeah, we'll uh, see what if happens if uh, if you fail. Uh... If you feel more comfortable being invisible, I am totally. I I it. don't honestly think she's gonna try to shoot you. She might. She, it's I'm entirely possible still she's gonna finish not off going playing. to. Based okay. on what you know about her affinity, she's probably gonna go after the one closest and then cast or. Sick. Oh shit! I'll back up. <laughs> <laughs> <Legit>. <laughs> And nothing I can do would affect anybody here, can you no matter how range? much I move. Are you in range? To At least heal this turn. No. If you dash, you can give me a bardic inspiration. That's true. I okay. sure I will do that. I will da 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 dash. Inspire. <laughs> Clink of the chains underneath as you walk over them, and you're running across, and you uh, get close enough to Clayton to give him some bardic inspiration. You're now sixty feet across the chains. Remember that number. Yeah, I'll try. Uh, yeah, sure, sure, I will. <laughs> what number is Clayton at right now? Clayton's at 120. Okay. Right. Uh, Simon. Hi. Um. You're 120 feet over. Oh, we're both next to each other, buddies. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use my movement to get to 150. And I'm okay. going to fireball her. 150. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you're doing now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, she's going to make a dexterity saving throw then. Yep. She makes it. Uh, it's Karen a plus G. nine. Yeah, it's a plus nine, so she makes it. Half False. damage. <laughs> she takes half damage. Yeet. Ooh. 12. 11? 12? 11? Does it round up or down? It'd be, it, it rounds down. down. So it's 11. 11. Uh, a burst of flame hits over onto her as she jumps out of the way, uh, dealing 11 points of fire damage. Get a look. <laughs> Anything else no, you're doing? Um, oh, she's a ranger. No, rangers get the red vision. Should I action surge and dash forward? You could action surge and... Because I don't have a bonus action. You still have movement base. from your original movement phase. Oh, yeah, you can still move thir uh, 60 feet up, closer. Yeah, because you moved uh, up 150 feet from 120. You still got... Yeah, you only use 30 feet of your movement. Yeah, you can you can move up oh, another 30 feet. All of it. What? Uh, Why were what? you... Oh, so you're 90 feet away from her. And you could action surge Scorching Ray. That's 120 feet. You're way closer to her now. Yeah. 300 foot gap. You're yeah. uh, 120 feet, feet away. over. I'm at 180 feet. No, you're yeah. at 120 a... feet away. Yeah, you're 120 away. Scorching yeah, okay. Ray is 120. Yeah. It is, it is. Then, so yeah, you sure. can action surge and Scorching Ray if you want. Sweet. Which will All be right. a lot of rolls, but I will do it. So you're now the closest thing to her. Thank you for taking the heat. Down. Burning hands. Uh, she down. might be the eventual scorching, type. You don't scorching know. Gray will be three uh, attacks. That is yeah, your. Yeah, Yeah, but it's your uh, proficiency and your intelligence. So plus eight. So roll three d twenties and add a plus eight to each. Right, right, right. Bleep. Plus eight. Wow. Twenty-four. Uh, those 26. all hit. Epic. So that's sixty-six plus nothing. I don't think. Yeah, plus nothing. Uh, Jesus. 6d6. Oh, oh, Jesus oh, Christ! Oh, Why is it so oh. bad? Uh, I'm rolling. That's so many ones! <laughs> you rolled so well on the attacks! I know. All right. that, well, all three scorching rays hit her, but they like she looks like she's about to kill over dead, and then realizes that that didn't hurt nearly as bad as she thought it would. Look, it's a little bit harder to aim. I'm flying, and I don't do this very often. No, sure, man. Uh, look, honestly, you getting closer to her. Is Shut up, nine health. <laughs> <laughs> Castor. Not uh, currently eighty feet over. 
Yeah, I'm gonna uh, do exactly what I did last turn. Okay, <laughs> you're now uh, 160 100. feet over. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Molotov is probably gonna follow suit with Simon. Yeah. Uh, go a little bit ahead of, or no, same thing. Yeah. Yeah, he would be at the same. Yeah, 180. All right. So Clayton. All right. I should stay behind. She Simon. is looking pretty bad. For health reasons. Just Eldritch Blast. <laughs> yeah, I'll Eldritch Blast. I, I had another plan, but that's dangerous, and I could, I should, I should play a little softer with my character's life. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 25, uh, 16, but I have That's Bardic true. Inspiration. That's true, you can use Bardic Inspiration. Uh, 19. Okay, both hit. 9, 4, 13 points of force damage. Nice. Uh, that's 13 damage on her. Uh, two more shots. She's actually looking pretty fucking bad now. Not quite Death's Door, but pretty much on it. Please address your response to my previous questions to my secretary. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say that? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just him basically being like, don't shoot me. He's closer. <laughs> Do um, it's her turn then. And she it takes her previous comment that you just made, looks very fucking pissed off at it, and shoots you. God damn it. Uh, that's going to be... That one hits. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a D8 plus 5 plus 4. That's 10 points of damage. God damn it, I'm dead. Um, Alright, well, you go unconscious, and mm -hmm. you lose your flight speed, and you instantly start falling. Right. Her second shot... Honestly, she wants to shoot Castor really bad, but she's gotten her vengeance so far, so she's gonna go shoot Simon, who's a bit more of a threat at the moment. Uh, so she's gonna go attack Simon now, and that's a <laughs> hit. <laughs> so good, that's nine down. points of damage on Simon as an arrow goes flying through him. I should have should have shielded on the first one. Damn. No, no, you're fine, bro. You I'm haven't plummeting. fallen yet. If somebody can do something to you before you fall, we'll see what happens. I mean, if Lucius wants to drop a uh, flying on me, see if he can fly your corpse. He'd have to touch me. Ah. Yeah. But if you yeah, could grab yeah. me. Have, have you moved? It I'm is. He, did, he didn't move. No, Clayton's still 120 feet up. Yeah, but you can okay. make it to me and grab me. All right. Lucius, it's your turn. Okay, so he... I don't have to necessarily. I can just healing word you, right? Me? Yeah, that would make him conscious. Yeah. That would bring him back up. Yeah. And technically, so my uh, my wings uh, just last for a few hours. They don't they don't drop when I do. So let me cast healing word at third level. But you and... aren't controlling them, so you're kind of plummeting at the moment. Right now, yes, but yeah, it yeah, gives yeah. me a. Speed but if hour. you can, if you lose consciousness, then gain it back again. Yeah, it'll work. That'll so okay. let's try that. You get 3d4 plus 4. Hey, nice. pretty sick. Uh, go ahead and roll it. I don't know if this is going to work correctly. 70 health back. I wish. One HP. Why isn't it not giving me fucking... <laughs> fuck it. Nice. nice. 14 points of health. Clayton, you lost all consciousness, and then you gained it right back. <laughs> you catch your wings before you start falling. Thank Christ. Oh, God. Oh, that sucked. Uh, I checked the arrow and what it said. <laughs> Uh, it said see you in hell. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how right you are. <laughs> um, and then... She looks pissed off that you're still alive. <laughs> Listen. You and me both, sister. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna... D you didn't use the previous inspiration, did you? Me? Did. I did. I'm gonna inspire you. Uh, again. healing word is a bonus action. 
Oh shit! Is yeah, so you, yeah. you still have an action, oh, but is. you can't use your bonus action. Anymore. Oh, sorry, my bad. I fucking mixed the two up. Yeah, you're fine. I get cure wounds and healing word mixed up with ale all the time. Um. Oh, it's. From... You could you could uh take a dash action to move up, and you'd be a uh, 120 feet right up next to Clayton. Yeah, I was thinking about that because can't do much else, so I'm going to do that. All right, so you're now on the chains right below Clayton. Uh, that mm -hmm. you just saved. A save to Clayton. It's Silent. much appreciated. It is I'm your gonna, turn, Simon. I'm going to move closer. Uh, full, like, 60 feet closer? Or? Yeah. All right. So that puts you 60 feet away from her. Correct. And uh, I'm going to use my last second level spell, the upcast magic missile. Okay. <laughs> That's four. Yep. All right. Black. Ten plus four, so 14. 14. How do you kill her? It's just nonchalant. Just <laughs> looking at her and then bolts so of lightning shooting from my hand. So she sees that Lucy has just raised Clayton from near death, looks very pissed off, then all of a sudden a bunch of shots go f right through her flesh. She looks should like Swiss cheese as she falls flat over, dead. Mm, should be. Should I don't. Be I don't think there's a lot we can learn from her. She pretty much gave us what she had. I guess so. Uh, so Governor she is. Cat uh, <laughs> turned his back on his own group. That or at least it, they assume you know so. I'm going to be honest. It looks more like Casper's group turned their back on him. <laughs> uh, they, they said, you're out here and you're making friends. Kill one of them. And he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm just uh, going so to... everybody's able to get across the chains eventually. Yeah, and and, fly uh, over and uh, I'm going to loot her body. There's a bunch of notes on her. I am not going to let anyone loot that body. I'm losing the body, dude. Back the fuck up. <laughs> he is closer. Yeah, I'm way closer to you. I will fucking shoot you. And you are low HP. I mean, you uh, can shoot at my me employer. if you fucking want, but <laughs> I I'm maybe. looting this body. I shoot at him. All right, All right. Castor, go I again. Give me a attack roll. I'm shooting him. Uh, I, I can get there before him, and I'm going to roll investigation if I survive this. <laughs> All right, uh, Castor, give me the attack roll. That's You're far away. Disadvantage. I'm uh, close to you. No, uh, I'm everybody. Really I, I said everybody uh, had time to move across. Uh, I'm gonna cast. Uh, I'm gonna cast shield. All right, shield cast uh, to this hit. Uh, cast sword. Go ahead and give me. Uh, that's a 19. Okay. Shield does catch it. Yep. Uh, uh, so magical, uh, devilish uh, smoke appears and catches the arrow mid-flight. Hold, hold up. I got a second attack. <laughs> it's technically no reaction, so. But his AC has changed. My AC is still 20. <laughs> yeah, I'm use my action search. Oh, shit. <laughs> you still. I'm going to use the on that. I'm going to use the uh, Jack on that. You can still. Uh, you, when you to make two attacks every time you take the attack action. Action surge lets you take another action. You have four attacks if you take action. Yeah, I, know. I, I just want to use the Jack Dollar in this uh, in particular. Yeah, okay. Give me that Jack Dollar then. Here. Yeah, cough it up. All right. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> you have one oh. more attack. I'm a thief, one baby! More <laughs> one more try. See the oh, price you want. Are you serious? Did I not? I didn't roll a single roll in the end of the Just, in just you, 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 you just blow like, arrows at me, and there's just this like wall of like smoke that's just like, ding, 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 and I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. Just I can just let that go. Everything from me. Oh yeah. All right, I'll take that one. That's your last jack dollar. That All one right. hits. That's five that's points five. of damage. Can I? I'm can I cut words that? Yeah, you can. Oh. <laughs> uh, you so go ahead and roll. Body. Roll for cutting roll words. Like That's ah, three. So two points of damage as the arrow scrapes past uh, Clayton's cheek, finally getting through your defense. 
All right. Uh, but that was a 15 on my investigation for the body. So while you're still investigating, there's a lot of yeah. notes written down, pre-written. Uh, a lot of them are more like greetings and stuff like that. So it's, it's more small talk. Uh, there is, however, one that looks more like uh, orders. Uh, it's play along in uh, uh, Hearthsteader uh, uh, until you learn more. All right. And that's the extent of what I get from her? Pretty much. All right. I roll away from the body and I hold up both hands and I'm like, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, pal. Exactly Listen, this is this is the kind of situation that we have going on here. All right, like you better, it, roll, you better roll initiative. We drop bodies, like that's what we do. Yeah, we do. Listen, pal, <laughs> she shot at us way before. You're not even with her anymore. Was she your ex? <laughs> I, <laughs> I was gonna say I wish, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this gonna... doesn't, this doesn't have to come to blows between nothing. I was just doing what I do. I'm a I'm a bandit. All right, we we drop bodies, we check loot. I didn't even find anything on her. She's good. Is there some kind of burial ritual you want to be doing? I'm I'm not really listening to this. <laughs> if so, inform me of your burying ritual. Yeah, I will see to it that you are buried. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this isn't this isn't gonna go your way, all right. I'm sure you just saw through that whole situation that you're not exactly the uh, the preferred candidate on this mission. Yeah, clearly with my uh, you're going you're no. going to want to breathe, take a step, and think about this. If Clayton's right. taking his turn to say all this, I'm. I mean, I'm not taking. It to, I'm just talking as a friend. Then I just go up and punch him. All right. All right. Uh, I mean, no Castor, Clayton's, Clayton's saying all this, and then Castor goes up to go what, punch Clayton in the face. And uh, at that point, I'll, I'll let um, uh, Lucius and Simon see if they want to get an interjection or not. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, um, that will be an initiative check between Castor, Lucius, and Simon. It's not proper initiative, but at the very least, just give me a check. That's depending if you want to interject, if Lucius wants to let this ride out. Ah. I mean... Uh, Castor gets the punch on Clayton first. Mm. Go ahead and give me that unarmed strike attack. This is a new turn? Do It's not do combat, I have to roll initiative to just do something to Clayton. It's it's more so initiative check. Do something before they do something. If you want to do it afterwards, after absolutely, I'll let you do it. But it's just like, do you want to? What do you want to do for? Do you want to try to do it before Cast can or what? Guess that it would have to be before he does something. Yeah. All right, then uh, go ahead and give me an initiative uh, check. Try to roll over uh, a nat twenty. All right, mm. or not a nat twenty, but a twenty. All right, so this is. Uh, that's kind of what happens. Lucius and Simon are not able to do what they want to do before Castor can punch Clayton in the face. Roll a hippie, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 16. Is your your AC hasn't... No, my AC... The shield would have dropped by now. Yeah, the shield would have dropped by now. So I'm so not it's... unconscious. And yeah. you're... That's very unfortunate for you. Castor <laughs> takes Again. a tooth out of Clayton's <laughs> mouth with that punch. Uh, Second punch. <laughs> it 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 is technically he does have that yeah. type of. Advantage. I, I will you if it's gonna kill you. Will this kill you? It will. Uh, you can choose. Well, you can choose to. It's not, yeah. it's not a yeah, yeah, uh, non-lethal damage. Non-lethal. Right, damage. Okay. So you damage. you knock Clayton now. You take one punch. The tooth comes with it. Clayton's like that was your first mistake, and then you punch him again, and he goes gold. <laughs> Uh, there is uh, Lucius and Simon. Uh, you have time to react to this. What awesome. Do you do? So, <laughs> <I> have... <laughs> Lucius just waits Clayton up again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Wait, I still have my movement, right? Technically, I mean, this is technically, not really combat, it's but... not really combat. Uh, we're kind of letting this play out like this. Um. So I just want to know what Lucius and Simon would like to do. 
I mean, he's gone, he's gonna curse her. Uh, the thing I was gonna do cannot happen now, so... No. Other than question, why the fuck do you have to keep throwing fists? Because <laughs> Clayton's the I type of person to throw fists back. <laughs> I want to, uh... Clayton never fired on... No, uh, I, I, I'm i talking to fucking Cat. Like, what? why? Yeah. I, I... Maybe I just am not paying attention fully, but why the fuck are we, we doing this? I don't uh, know. I wanted to loot a body, and then there were arrows fired at me, so I did shield to protect myself. You were warned against, against it. I, I'm up to speed on that. I just... Yeah. What, <laughs> Caster, the fuck? Caster's not gonna answer. Kester is walking over to the, the elf's body, though. And I have right. one thing to say to you, and it's give me a constitution saving throw. Because I have more first level spell slots. And you shot I mean, that might, that might be what I'm going to have to do, too. It depends Not on whether or not you guys want to let it want to let it get that far. Uh, but Simon is casting a spell, so Kester, I need a dex. <laughs> I need a constitution saving throw. <laughs> yeah. Can, Constitution. can you give me one as well? Oh shit! <laughs> you put ten feet back onto the bridge. It's not. It's not a bridge. It's just a it's just haphazard a interchange of. He would go over without a dexterity saving throw. But he needs another con saving throw, right? Yeah, you need to. Like, you right need to roll another Constitution saving. Four. For me. Oh, yeah. All right, never no. mind. That doesn't fucking no. work at all. I'll take half so, Castor, you take ten thunder damage, and go over. I need you to give me a dexterity saving throw. Okay, you manage to grab onto the chains and stop yourself from falling into the pit. What are we doing, Castor? I'm ve very carefully ignoring uh, both of them. And making my climbing my way back up onto the bridge and back to the elf. This chain is not magic. <laughs> <laughs> it it isn't. It is sturdy. You you would imagine it's been here for quite some time. Thousands of years, if not. I have a very good plan, but it is not my turn. Well, okay. So it's not quite turns, but I am yeah. letting people react to things. So Castor is walking over the chains. That's what he wants to do. He's walking back over to the body, but he's ignoring you two even okay. after what you did. Well, then if he's gonna ignore, then I need a wisdom saving throw. Uh, what spell are you casting? Suggestion. <laughs> Castor. 21. Actually, tell me what you're gonna say first. Tell me what the suggestion I... is. Let's <laughs> just stop. Which would stop him in his tracks. If this does not work, I would like to use Shocking Grasp on the chain. Uh, well, then Castor, give me a Wisdom Saving Throw. What? I, I did. You did. Oh, you did. It failed. And you succeeded. All right. Uh, then it did fail. Simon, you're... And, and it's just... Basically, at that point, it was just me talking and him continuously ignoring me. <laughs> uh, so I, I, was only, I was only 10 feet away, like... Yeah, so you're able to, like, while that conversation is happening, get off the chains and walk over to the body. I, I had said that I was tasing the chain. Well, he would have been able to get off the chain in the time the suggestion was being cast. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. that wouldn't have been a problem. So you can tase him. That's You can do that if you want. I want to grapple him. <laughs> oh no, you've got more strength than me! <laughs> All right, um, Simon. Well, okay, no, breaking free of rap. It's it's an athletics. Oh. It's an athletics versus either an athletics or an acrobatics. It, it, I think it's both athletics to start a grapple, and then it's and then acrobatics, it's acrobatics to, get to get out of it. No, it's 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 a athletics versus <laughs> athletics or acrobatics to get in it in the first place. So go ahead and give me those checks. I'd say I'm okay with this, but I, I'm not sure. Thank God. Uh, Simon attempts to grapple. Yeah, Simon attempts to grapple Castor, but is unable to. Castor, you. <laughs> All right, the Jack Dollar did not suffice, unfortunately. Castor, you're able to get back to the elf's body, no problem. 
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kneel down and I'm gonna speak in uh, deep speech. Okay. I don't know what that sounds like, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what it sounds like either, but I'm confident that likely no one else knows. No. All right. So you say something in deep speech. Epic. All right. Uh, Whose turn is it? Kill him. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Uh, Clean, can you roll me a d4? Uh, for, you know this, what? this is the figure out without magical healing when you wake up. <laughs> you wake up in two hours. You're going to wake up in two hours with one HP. Congratulations. But while that's happening... So, Castor, what do you want to do with, uh, with Ilana? Once I'm done, uh, I'll pick her up and I will throw her off the bridge. Okay. She goes tumbling into the pit. Uh, oh, I'm sorry looting the body was too far for you, Castor. <laughs> <laughs> now what happens? Grabbing him by the collar? You gonna explain yourself? No. You're not a lot more talking to do, buddy. <laughs> Listen, you can you can either explain this to them right now, or you can wait for two hours when I get up. <laughs> and then Shut we'll up, half the beast corpse. Well, all right then. How are we passing the next two hours then? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Uh, healing yeah, word. Okay. All right. Yeah. Healing word. That's what I was kind of expecting. So healing word, second level. All right. You get nine HP back. You, we don't have to wait two hours. <laughs> uh, Clayton, you wake up uh, still mid sentence. Ugh, listen, fucking piece of goddamn. I have put up with a fucking lot from you. I have turned a blind eye to your blatant bigotry. I have allowed you to continue walking with us. I have taken you into my home. I have cared for you. And then while, some bitch while from your he's doing this, past. I'm just gonna cast level one healing word. <laughs> some bitch from your fucking past just waltzes waltzes in here, says that she wants to kill me and that you betrayed him, and suddenly your body Where's her body? He points to the hole. Are you fucking serious? This isn't even about a respect thing. What is it? Are you that goddamn petty that it just has to be you that throws it into the abyss? We don't have fucking time for this, Castor. We don't have time for you to sit around and start acting like some kind of noble fucking hero. You're like the rest of us. You're a bandit. You're on the lowest of the low. You work for money. Whether or not you hey, would stay. Hey, we've helped people. Doesn't change our status. All right. Let's not get any fucking wild eyed ideas. That we're somehow better than this. People Do not drop claim. Me. Do not claim to understand the concept of respect, bandit. I don't owe you anything. I don't expect you to owe me anything. Then you can get the fuck out. Entries that way, I'm sure you know where you're going. I intend to go where I please. If we don't act like a goddamn team. You understand we're gonna die down here. Is that concept even past your mind? Is it past yours? Every fucking day. You think I don't, I'm not just prepared for the fact that I'm gonna go out at any goddamn moment that apparently my friends can shoot me in the back because I didn't understand some unspoken rule that you never brought up? All the bitch even had on her were notes. Probably mute some kind of greeting system. I just, I would like to know the size of the stick that is up your ass sideways, all right? <sighs> You've got absolutely nothing to fucking defend yourself with here. That's friendly fire. I have no intention of defending myself. 
<laughs> this is ridiculous. You were what? Willing to take a arrow for me before she even fired. Now all of a sudden I just walk up to her and and all of that falls out the window. Yeah, you got a lot of fucking nerve, my guy. I think I prefer cowards. Takes one to no one. <laughs> right. You always have to have the last word. Is that it? You ain't even right. I just basically said I face death every day and I smile about it. And this guy can't even let me talk to his girlfriend. A lot of insecurities going on up there. This may surprise you, Clayton, but we all court, fate, court to death every day. Uh, do we? Or are you just prepared to cut and run anytime something goes wrong? There's no escape from death, whether you run or not. No, but some of us have made arrangements. I suggest you start making yours. My arrangements have been made since the day I was born. Oh my god. That's how Here I was all. Listen, pal, all right, I know that when I, we're back in Dune's Reach, I talk like I'm some religious cult leaders kind of situation, but you don't think for a second I believe in that crap. I don't care what you believe in. That's not my responsibility. But it is your responsibility to explain no, yourself when you act up. No, it's not. This is uh, the fucking society we live in. You're either on us, on our side, or you're against us. If that is the society you choose to live in? You don't get the choice. I do. Then go. I don't need you here. Certainly not if there are arrows being shot in my back and fists in my face. I would love to if someone let go of my collar. Time to put him down. Get him the fuck out of here. Just kind of lets go with a tiny shove. I'll make my way down the corridor. I'm gonna sit. hope you get up before we do. I'm gonna sit down and take a short rest. I'm gonna let him fucking go. <laughs> All right. Clayton just sits down. He just takes out a little like uh, like a little like flask, like drinks it a bit, puts it on. He's like, I no no no. I put your your hand down. Like and I hand yeah. you I hand you mine. It's stronger. He'll, he'll take the stronger one. Also, yeah. another. <laughs> <laughs> just keep healing you, yeah. Um, it's appreciated. Uh, I'm up to 22. Well, we're going to long rest here, so probably don't. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> As Clayton and, Luce, Clayton, Lucius, and Simon look their wounds back in this massive chasm of a room, Castor continues walking on into the maze yet unexplored. As we bring ourselves away from the maze, we see that they have made some decent progress through it, but they still have a ways yet to go. Uh, unfortunately, for now, we'll have to just guess on how things will happen as uh, we are bringing a close for tonight. Uh, I'm going to roll my head dice. <laughs> yeah, you guys can roll for a, a short rest. All of you can roll for a short rest and gain benefits of it if you want. Um... <laughs> I like uh, to think. A, do I roll? For, uh, 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 I've, I've, uh, you can choose. I, I, I pers there. I'm, I'm of the mind that you can choose whichever ones. And when you take a short rest, you are like a long rest, so you can also choose which ones you get back first. I'm, I'm okay. perfectly fine with that. Constitution modifier to that. Yes. Yes. To each roll. To each roll. <laughs> um. Uh. So I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by uh, and watching. Uh, it was a bit more of a tense one. I would like to remind everybody that in character does not mean out of character. So uh, <laughs> we're, still here. we're still here just to have fun here. We're trying to make an interesting story. I, you know, to stay true to form, I really did take out flyers and I ripped out one of my teeth because <laughs> you have to, you have to, it, it's, it's, uh, I, I went and got myself a dead body to throw off a cliff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, just to really get in the character. Game, right? I just have one just <laughs> around for Keep uh, one in the freezer, yeah. yeah I only I mean, have I mean, half I mean, right now. I'd use the other half for another thing, but that's nothing. Uh, Clayton, <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> thing that happens is Clayton waits until he's sufficiently sure that fucking Castor has wandered off, and he pulls out the note that he pocketed, 
And he unfurls it and he just reads it aloud to them and it's like, it's just fucking orders. I mm. think people uh, can be better at taking them. Puts it back in his pocket. Uh, well, there you go. So we're taking a short rest, right? Taking a short yeah. rest. Uh, we'll be back next week. We're going to be continuing off uh, from where we left off here. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to run that. Uh, we've officially split the party, so we'll see. I'm I'm sure. I'll get with Castor. Maybe Castor we'll, we'll do like a small where off There is a thing. will, there is a way. Because he didn't even take a short rest, so he's just walking off. I'm still saying that he can gain the benefits of it. If you guys are taking the benefits of a short rest, he oh, can as well. Even if he's it. walking off. But he he, he walked, walked off. There are no yeah, benefits for me to benefit I'm, from. <laughs> I'm walking at a leisurely pace. So. Yeah, you're taking a, you're taking your sweet time. The Minotaur finally you're... crosses the bridge and like it's stumbling over the chains. <laughs> he gets like 25 fucking feet away and it's just like an explosion and we're like, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out exactly how I'm going to run it next week. It's going to be a little weird and I hope everybody is fine with a little bit of uh, party jumping. As uh, we go constantly from Clayton, Lucy, you know, and Simon to whatever wouldn't Castor's be the first doing. time, and it, it was okay. I think last time, yeah. yeah, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll. I think this will actually make a very interesting story. I wasn't sure how this uh, last uh, thing, uh, how this last little arc before we go on a hiatus. Uh, for everybody watching the stream, we are gonna we're gonna put this game on a hiatus. I'm getting a little burnt out of homebrew just because I'm running out of ideas for the games, uh, and we're gonna go play some. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're gonna play something else in the meantime. Uh, probably gonna be a pre-made. Uh, I think Zalti had an idea for something he wanted to run, and same with uh, Chef. So we'll figure yeah. out what we're doing there. Uh, but this is gonna like after this arc, uh, the Labyrinth of Crystal. We're gonna put the game on hiatus. Uh, season one is gonna be over, and we'll continue off a little bit afterwards. But I'm imagining the end of season one is gonna be a little bit crazy. So uh, just stay tuned yeah. for that. Yeah, uh, we're sorry. Uh, the network cut our funding. And, uh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to really wrap up all of our loose ends and. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, season, funding season is actually. Is yeah, the actually season two is gonna be uh, double our funding, which is zero dollars still, uh, because yeah. we got the new channel well, and everything. Really some funding put into you know? into this. I gave you <laughs> for more music. Yeah, we're getting paid. No, we're not getting paid. Uh, I, uh, I've thrown my Twitch Prime sub into this, so... Oh, yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> so, like two so bucks we are. Yeah. I paid my time. Yeah, exactly. We're all having fun here, though. Uh, but we will figure <laughs> out what's happening with that. Uh, I'm imagining about three-ish more sessions of this, uh, of this game, and then uh, Season 1 will come to a close until uh, Season 2 comes up. I don't know when. It might be sooner rather than later. I just need time to kind of get some other stuff in order. Uh, yeah, but, but you know what? I think it's only fair. Uh, uh, twenty sessions, let's say, twenty yeah. episodes a season. Get the the nice winter break over with. Maybe regain uh, in the uh, right. Get some and, ideas and a, from and a, from and a winter or yeah. early spring maybe. Get a little refresher. Actually, get some ideas from pre-built adventures because I was thinking about running like either uh, Descent into Avernus or the new one, uh, Rhyme of Frostwind, Frostmaiden. Rhyme of the Frostmaiden. Rhyme maybe, of the Frostmaiden. One, one. one of those, one of those, get like run one of those because I'm actually super interested in running one of them. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and end it off here. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, and we will check you next week. Bye. 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 Whoa.